what was what was the verdict on how much being a weeb on the wheel should cost what what was it where we agreed 150k 166k 85k caps tell me you have 85k coins without telling me you have 85k coins 166k is it actually 166k hmm god damn it joe just as i start an isaac run this is better than isaac isaac sucks don't worry about it joe i lost 200k because of your win yesterday you should never doubt you should never doubt never ever that's what you get for being a doubter okay wheel of names all right oh, it remembered what we had it remembered what we had Remember who you are. Okay, if I do this. <gasps> All right. Okay. Ooh. New tech. New tech. All right. What should we do? Ooh, banana. I understood that reference. Nice reference. Okay. Wait, I missed it. What are we spinning for here? We are spinning for a marble. We're spinning for a marble. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Okay. What is it? Undo Chan. Undo Chan. Uh, Angel Eric, Sugar, Devil Eric, Weeb 1, Weeb 2, Weeb 3, Weeb 4, Weeb 5, Weeb 6, Weeb 7, Weeb 8, Weeb 9, Weeb 10. Who el what else was on here? A marble? How are you here and you don't know about the marbles? Is Merrick here? Merrick said we were early. Alright, so Merrick... So... Um... What was it if, if Merrick... Uh, did Merrick have to buy a spot on the wheel in order to contribute a roll? I can't remember. Yeah? Alright, okay. No, but legit, I'm new and I have no idea what this marble is. So, there's. I will explain what's going on, alright? So, my audience is uh, predominantly um, inclined toward the devil's cartoons. <clears throat> so, they want me to watch one of them. And I have never, so we are um, doing a an event where you can contribute <laughs> monocoins to start the race. And the race is going to be a bunch of marbles, and each marble will represent an anime. And whichever wins the race is the anime I will watch, potentially live on Twitch with like a with like a, a black screen, and you can um, you can uh, match along if you want. We'll do a timestamp thing. All right, so. That's what we're going to do, alright? So, right now, a marble costs a million monocoins. However, if you want to partake in this event, you can get on the wheel. And you can be... You could be Weeb 1. Or Weeb 3. You could even be Weeb 6, alright? You could be a Weeb on here. Wheel of Weebs. If angel eric wins at the end all right it's elimination all right if angel eric wins then every single weave that's on the wheel gets their marble put on for the race but if devil eric wins then that means thank you Lee, that means that none of the marbles win 
and you all wasted your mana coins. This is too complicated. I'll just watch. Wow. This is too complicated. Imagine if you were on Jad circa 2021. <coughs> Excuse me. What's Jad's? Oh, so you were there. Okay. Nice reference. Anyway, so you have 10 weebs have a chance to get all of their their animes on the board. But it's likely that only one will go through. But you may lose it all. Undo Chan will undo the last the last one, okay? That's what Undo Chan does. All right? Which Undo Chan was instrumental last last round. Undo Chan won that for uh, for Ellie, for sure. All right, so here we go. It's gonna be 166k. All right, let me let me let me get it. All right. So please be aware. W be aware, weebs. Wary weebs, wonder whether they will whittle away their their wallets right don't don't like you are very likely to not get anything from this okay so be aware all right this is gambling but it's it's pretend currency so who cares there's, there's nothing important on the line or anything like that. All right, so let us add new custom reward. Be a weeb on the wheel. Okay, 166,000. You know what? 1666608. Oh, is that too many? Oh, that's... That's 1.6 million. Oh man, I could have bam got a good bamboozle on you all, because a lot of you would have just slammed slammed that to get in, and it could have been like like oh man, I could have I could have just like destroyed the economy, destroyed the economy. All right, one six 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 six. All right, there we go. You are purchasing a spot on the wheel right now for the stream. You will likely get nothing for this. So so be warned. Why am I even doing this? No one's going to read it. All right. So, just so you know, if if you leave during this, you don't get your coins back. All right? Okay. All right. So that's it. Be a weeb on the wheel. You're purchasing spot on the wheel. Okay, so here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Redemption amount. Oh, I almost, I almost went through without a limit. All right. Limit it. Okay, cooldown and limits. All right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Should I put a minute? Oh ho! Should I put a minute cooldown on it? And he <laughs> he dance for me, chat. Dance for me, chat. Dance for me. A minute cooldown. Who's gonna Who's gonna get in? A minute cooldown. Here we go. Dance, dance. All right. Limit redemption for stream. Ten. Ten. Can I do it in seconds? <laughs> Limit redemption per user per stream. There's no way that someone is going to get two spots on the wheel, right? There's no way. <laughs> Drew Carrymore, number one. All right, Drew Carrymore is, is on there. All right, number one. Weeb Drew Carrymore. All right. <laughs> All right. How are there 2,000 people here? Should we ask everyone's animes while we wait? Yeah, yeah, Drew, Drew, what, what is your anime? What is your anime? I'm voting for End of Evangelion. All right. End of Evangelion. Should we write it on here? End of Evangelion. 
Does it fit? You know what? It fits. We can all see the thing on here, right? There we go. All right. Isn't that already on there? <laughs> Add some background music, maybe? No, that's too professional. That's too professional. It's broke. What's broken? What do you mean it's broken? How is it broken? Who is Eric? That's your question? No one can redeem law. Yeah, cause it's 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 got a minute cooldown. It should be it should be ready now, huh? Maybe you're right. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Maybe it's two minutes. Maybe it ticks over after a minute, and we were like in the middle of a minute. We could see the cool. Well, I don't. I don't know. Then I don't know what's going on. It should work. All right. Let me go and edit it. Edit. Okay. It says a minute. It says fine. Limit redemptions per stream ten. No, I didn't limit to one. Limit redemptions per stream ten. It's right there. Ten. I'm looking at it right now. Ten. All right, what if I save it? If I save it, will it go through again? All right, let me try. All right, I saved it. No. Huh. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, what if I change the limit to nine? You should have high rollers only, one million on the wheel, and you get 10 marbles. Ho ho! Oh! No, 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 because that has the potential to be 100 marbles. And I think that would crash the game. We can't have 100 marbles. All right, what if I, what if I, like, turn it off and then back on again? Why have we spent like 20 minutes doing nothing? Because I accidentally started the stream early. And this isn't nothing. This is community engagement. All right, you know what? I'll take away the limit. All right, here we go. I'll take away the, 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 the limit. Zero. Okay, it's, it's broken. It's broken, isn't it? Why is it broken? That's so upsetting. All right, anyway, marking Drew as complete. All right, I will remake it. Okay, what was it again? 166. Okay. Uh, limit redemption. Uh, 10, right? No, 9. 9, okay. Alright, here we go.
did I just get? <laughs> the review request queue, here we go. Did you guys hit the cap? There was a hundred cap. <laughs> 31 weebs just gave me 100k coins for nothing. Man of Shadows, here's two taste spuds. Remy Starfall, Drew Carrymore again. What are you doing? Arrow, Poop Feast 420, Mimi the Yumi. Ho ho ho, ho ho, so, so unbelievably owned. Oh man, there are mods on here. Ho ho, ho ho ho. <laughs> anyway, of course I'm not going to like like uh, reject. All right, hold on, I'll undo it. I'm not gonna take your coins away for nothing. That's that's mean. That's mean. But it was funny. It was funny. All right, I deleted it. All right. Oh no, that canceled. Did you all get your coins back? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> No? What do you mean, no? M it may be refreshed and it'll come back. Last time I, I, I know for sure that it comes back because we, we've canceled the, um, the race before and all the coins came back. Did you even cancel it? Yeah, it's gone. It's gone off my list. Maybe it just needs some, some time to update. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 10 million coins snapped out of your since It's, it's 3.1 million, actually. How about adding that coin amount to the to the marble race goal? And the, I don't know about that. Someone just started mowing their lawn. I don't want the support starting the race. Oh, so that really was 100k coins just gone forever. Okay. All right. I will do. I will do the real custom reward this time. All right. Here we go. Uh, be a weeb on the wheel. All right, here we go. No blurb. One six 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 six. All right, one six 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 six. All right, Drew is already on there. What if Drew's on there twice? How does that work? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, cooldown and limits. No, no cooldown timer. Nine limit. Nine limit. All right, all right. Here we go. How is Drew so fast? Has Drew set up a bot or something? Oh, man. All right. Let's go through. All right. You know what? Let's let's remove the what what the the anime is because it's because we don't have we can't go through it all. All right. So Weeb Weeb Remy Starfall Weeb Points, arrow, points arrow, weeb, da boulder, uh, weeb morden, weeb poop feast, four twenty. Uh, you know, I'm seeing a lot of the same names. That means some of you are breaking the uh, the first two rules of Wheel Club. Quantum zero six five. Drew Carrymore two. Crichton one nine seven eight. And Mimi the Yumi. Alright, did I miss anybody? I don't think so. That's ten. Now there are dogs. How did we lose like three hundred people? 
Are they upset because of the, the, the great monocoin steal? Uh-oh. What happens if the Eric's win? If Angel Eric wins, then everyone gets a marble. If Devil Eric wins, no one gets a marble. And it's elimination round. So if, like, the last undo chain can never be removed, so we just keep going, and we remove as we land on them, including Angel and Devil. And whoever is left with Undo Chan is the winner. And if Angel Eric is the winner, everybody gets a marble. If Devil Eric is the winner, nobody gets a marble. Okay? Put all the people who put in 100k on the wheel for a chance for one of them to become the 11th place on the anime wheel. How, how are we going to keep track of that? Because all, all, it's all gone. Did someone screen cap it maybe? Because the um, buying stuff is not in the, in the VOD chat. Give me another spot. You know what? Because you had the balls to ask. Sure. Quant quantum spot. Quantum spot. <clears throat> Alright. We ready? What music do we want? Quantum Weeb. Do we want? Is Deadly Premonition music okay to okay to use? I guess we're gonna find out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Wheel of weeb them, turn, 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 show us the lesson that the weeb should learn. Animaniacs reference. Here we go, here we go. First weeb off. Oh, Balder off. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Sorry, Balder. Maybe, maybe, should we shuffle? Maybe un Undo Chan will be, uh, will be kind. Are you guys doing the um the side? Are you shorting the wheel? What? What? Oh, no, it's Angel. Angel is gone. That was so close. That was so close. Oh man. Angel doesn't last very long. Oh, Undo Chan is being a real tease today. Sorry, Remy. Sorry, Remy. Oh, Remy's back. Remy is back. Remy's back. How do I undo? We'll just we'll just put it on. Weeb Remy. All right. Remy is back. Undo, Ch Undo Chan has chosen you, Remy. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Quantum. The Quantum Weeb has been removed. Disentangled from the wheel. What happens if Undo Chan into Undo Chan? Then it un undoes the undone. What is going on with Undo Chan today? Quantum Weep is back. All right, what, what, okay, she's just fucking with us. She's just fucking with us. All right, fucking, is Undo Chain gonna have to have lives? All right, sorry, Quantum, you're gone again. And the weebs col collectively breathe a sigh of relief that Devil Eric has been removed. <sighs> Someone is going to get a marble. Unless Undo Chan wants to have some fun. Nope. Weeb Mimi the Yumi. I'm sorry. 
The wheel has chosen you. Oh, we Remy. Oh, I'm sorry, we Remy. Maybe, maybe Undo Chan will be kind. Let's find out. Nope. Oh, Drew? No. Weep Crichton. D Drew is like dodging like crazy here. Sorry, Crichton. Oh. A Drew has been removed. It's Drew Carrymore too. All right. We are down to our last four contestants. One more elimination and we'll learn a little bit more about them. Oh no! I'm sorry, Drew. The double elimination. The double elimination. Oh man. Oh man, the upset. I'm sorry, Drew. I'm sorry. Anyway, so... Poop Feast 420, Point Terrell, and Morden. Haven't been talking about you very much this whole spin so far. Alright? What is your what are your animus? Be judged. If you win, what are we gonna be watching? I choose Tech Tex Nolis. None of them? What do you mean, none of them? Oh, it's a Dark Horse Weeb. Kakashi versus Obito AMVS autoplay 15 videos on YouTube. I have a real one if shitposting of this degree is not allowed. What, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Did people get their, their, their coins back, by the way? <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, some people did. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I, I don't. I don't know what's happening here, but let's see. First of all, Undo Chan might be coming back, or might might bring uh, Drew Carey more back. Let's see. Point Terrell is gone. What anime was that? Was that the only real anime? That was... <laughs> you know what? This was a good round. This was a good round. Oh no! <laughs> Undo Chain has something to say about that. Alright. We... Point Terrell. Alright, you're back. Undo Chan is just the spice that holds us together, huh? Poop Feast 420 with your weird YouTube one is gone. Alright, so we have some weird anime that I can't remember the name of versus none of them. Here we go. Here we go. None of them has taken it. None of them is our champion. None of them. An, a, a, a marble for none of them is going to be added. Morden, I will give you like a chance, an opportunity to go back on that if you would, if you actually have something you want to do. But it's it's up to you. One final spin for undo chance. No, we could be here forever if that's the case. I do not. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. All right. Add a marble, f marble for none of them. A marble for none of them. All right. Legitimately, I'm looking at Dragon's Den. Legitimately, did the did the the coins not come back? 
when I canceled it? No? Oh, God. <laughs> I had 200k, now I'm down to 128. Oh, no. Joe, the pin is very funny. What, I do not? Or, oh, <laughs> Why would you think the canceling gives them back? Because that's what happened with the race before. I've canceled the race before and everyone got their marbles back. So the reason why I thought it, it worked that way it was because that's how it's worked bef in before. They did come back, but if you want to give me a charity marble, I'll take... Oh, am I being played? I feel like I'm being played. Do we have a list of all the people that that fell for the for the great um, shenanigans of uh, August twenty third? Balder is lying. So why would why would Balder lie about that? Is Balder lying about even giving giving coins? Is that what's going on? No, no, no. Baldur's there. You should have... No, I don't have it because I, I cancelled it. And I thought you would all get your coins back. Have you played Hollow Cure yet, Joe? I have not played Hollow Cure, no. I don't think I'm going to. I think you should let them rot. I don't think I should. I don't want to. I don't want to take coins from people. It was just. It was a funny, funny joke. I didn't think that the the coins would be gone forever. I wonder if I can see it in my uh, in my stream manager list. Can I add filters? Reward requests. Oh ho! All right, here we go. All right, I have I have a list. All right, I have a list. Okay, so I see it on my stream manager. All right, what what's what's the play here? What's the play here? Do we do? I guess we we have to, we just have to do the rounds, right? We have to we have to let them spin. Cause I can't give the coins back. Do we do a do we do a mega wheel of all thirty one people? Or do we do three wheels of ten? You guys are gonna go through three wheels of ten. We should do a mega wheel. Do, 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 do. Have a mega wheel in the top three wins since you took three million. All right. All right. All right. Top three. Top three of the mega wheel. All right. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. However... I'm giving Undo Chan lives. Undo Chan, five lives. Okay? Because otherwise we could be here forever. All right? Five lives on Undo Chan. All right? All right, let me go through it. Let me go through it. All right. Man of Shadows. I'm not putting we because it's taking too long to, to type. 
Here's two taste buds. Rem Remy's back. Remy Starfall. I can't see chat right now, by the way. Drew carry more three. White Heresy. Whoops. Arrow, f just arrow, just arrow. Poop feast for t it's the same people all the time. The one percenters are here. Mimi the Yumi. Wo Doromon. Black Phantom Zero. Ruperty. Morden. Morden is back with another none of them. Morden. Dat. Bda. Last. Isis. Da Balder. Jungle. Raba. Is it? Is there a limit of the wheel? This is a disaster. Kaint Avo. Mister Dubois. Cotto Ben. Beware the Umbrella. Interesting name. Quantum Weeb. Tear Flings without an eye. Marmuse. Ramon 9910. I'm going to sneeze. What? Oh, no, 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 it went away. Oh, okay. Holy shit. Uh, Tales from the bottom. You'd fit right in on Jads. Uh, soft lump. Iceborgs. Alright, and the last ones on my list here after Iceborgs are Manafi C4, Jeremiah475. Constant pancakes. Here's to taste. Wait, hold on. What? You knew it was a con and you did it twice? What? All right, okay, so here's the question, chat. Do we have the balls to put Eric's on the wheel? <laughs> be 31. What do you mean, yes? All right, Angel Eric. Devil Eric. Oh man, Th no, no three each. No three each. No. No? N absolutely not. No. Nope. It's only fair. Three each? Alright, I, I will put three angels and three devils on there if I also put three bomb chans. And if bomb chan gets picked, bomb chan kills herself and the two above and below her on the list yeah deal no thanks drew carrymore has done the math and says no i need the 31 weebs on the wheel to say Trolley Chan too. Trolley Chan has just spin again. What if Bomb Chan wins? I don't know. Talk to Merrick about that. Add sex. Yeah, it's true. Add sex. Sorry. Sex. All right. 
All right. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to spin. Okay, it doesn't count because I didn't. I didn't mean to spin. I didn't mean to spin. You're no, you're fine. We have a win. You're fine. We're not. We're not. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. I didn't mean to spin. Doesn't. It's not. It's not fair to tear flings. It's not fair. I didn't mean to spin. Thirty-one weeps to the tune of bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> you know what? Let's play some music because there's no way this is going in the VOD anyway. How's the sound? Are we good? Very loud. All right, better. Three angels, three devils, three bombs. <sighs> okay, I will compromise. We'll do two. Two angel, angel Eric two. Devil Eric two. Bomb Chan. Bomb Chan 2. Alright, 2. If Bomb Chan is chosen, Bomb Chan blows up. Above and below and herself. Sex 2. Alright, Sex 2. Alright, Sex 2. Sex 2. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We are starting now. This, this roll counts. This roll counts. Alright? If you weren't here before, who, oh crap. So the last three on the board win on the wheel. All right, here we go. Should we have a second undo chant? No, 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 no. We're not having a second undo chant. All right, here we go, boom. First blood. Oh no, all right, definitely. Devil Eric 1 is gone. Awesome. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Ma Manaphy C4. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Manaphy C4. I'm sorry. You were gone. Removed from the wheel. Do quantum weeb removed again next to bomb chan too lucky weeb do 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 remy again get off the wheel remy get off the wheel maybe we should put another undo chan on i don't know do 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 oh Here's two taste buds too. Removed. Removed. What if Bomb Chan wins? I said, ask Merrick. Do, 
Ramon, Weep Ramon. You have been removed from the wheel. Apologies. I'm starting to get worried an angel might win. Oh man. What if two angels win? What if both angels are at the end? Oh my god. Oh, sex is gone? Oh, nope. Soft lump. What if sex wins? Kate Avo. Kate Avo. Oh, Angel Eric. All right. Well, at least that's one really awkward situation that could have happened. Removed. Okay, one angel remains. Undo Chan. There's no way Undo Chan is going to be landed on right now. There's no way. See? Black Phantom Zero. Apologies. Oh man, what is this like almost to the next one, but not quite? Last Isis. Sorry, Weeb Isis. Tails from the bottom. Does Undo Chan undo the bomb? Yeah, and Undo Chan has no no limits to her power. She can undo a bomb. Hopefully, she can undo the whole wheel. Oh no! No! Oh, God damn it! Devil Eric is rear art. Quan, Quan, undo Chan. Undo Chan. Undo Chan. Please, please. Undo Chan. Please, please. Shit. <sighs> Shit. Iceborgs. Sorry, Iceborgs. Three winners at least? Not necessarily. If there's four left, but one of them's Bomb Chan, and Bomb Chan goes off, Bomb Chan kills two people. That can happen. Mimi the Yumi. Sorry, Mimi. Oh! Drew or Jungle Robba? Oh! Jungle Robba! Drew carry more three. Oh man, the dodge. The dodge. Oh, Mr. Du Bois, next to sex. Sandwich between sex and bomb chan. You know what? A pretty good way to go, gotta say. Also, you know, it's it's uh it's accurate. Mr. Du Bois. How have we not gotten a bomb yet? Or sex. Sex really? Sex bomb? Beware the umbrella. Apologies. Maybe sex is gonna win. Oh no! Bomb Chan 2! Bomb Chan 2 explodes, killing Jeremiah and Tear Flings. Apologies. Apologies. As we can see, the wheel is a donut and it and it loops up. Apologies, Jeremiah and Tear Flings. Taken out by a bomb. Shuffle, shuffle. Will undo Chan undo it? Nope. Nope. Sorry. Caught a Ben. Angels taunting us. Oh. Marmuse, maybe? 
Marmuse. Marmuse. How many we left? 18? Oh no! Bum oh! oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Angel Eric, get out of here. Get out of here, Angel Eric. Only Undo Chan can save you now. It's not gonna happen. Chat, it's not gonna happen. Oh man, oh man, I feel so, I feel so relaxed now. So relaxed now. All right, we, we can breathe. Cheap Nesty. Do, 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 do. Poop Feast 420, removed once again. What are the rules here? What, whatever I feel like as we go, pretty much. Undo oh, Chain is not doing much. Dapba. You have been removed. Sex 2? White Heresy has been removed from the wheel. Sex 2 is gone. I see it. I see it happening. Sex 2 is gone. Alright. Now we just have to remove Sex 1. What if a bomb wins? Oh, oh no! Okay, Bomb Chan explodes, killing Morden. And taking one life off of Undo Chan, right? Gotta be. All right, so Undo Chan is down to four lives. There you go. Here we go. A life has been removed from Undo Chan. Sorry, Morda. Lore accurate? Yeah, it's lore accurate. Yeah, I agree. The Boulder. Dub Boulder. All right, I'm getting I'm getting a little nervous that sex is still on the wheel. Do Chan. Rupert T. Rupert T. All right, so here we are down to our last few contestants. Here's two taste buds. Man of Shadows. Woda Roman. Drew Carrymore three. Arrow and constant pancakes. Three of you lucky weebs. Unless sex somehow takes it from one of you. Um are going to be getting a marble. Unless Undo Chan has something to say about this. And she does not. Here's two taste buds. You fought valiantly. Here's the taste buds. Two spots on the wheel. You are my secret favorite. Maybe Undo Chan favors you also. Let us see. She does not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Arrow, you have been removed. We are down to What a Roman, Man of Shadows, Drew Carrymore 3, and Constant Pancakes. Sex is still on the wheel. Sex might take a marble from you. Is there anyone in chat named Sex? Oh, Undo Chan has started to uh, play the game. Undo Chan uses one of her lives to bring Arrow back. Arrow is back on the wheel. Let us hope that Sex goes next. Arrow, you have just been final destinationed. Will Undo Chan have anything to say about it? <laughs> uh, 
Apparently she does. Undo Chan uh, and Death are having a are having a fight. Arrowful, I, I spelled your name wrong. Arrow is back. All right. Sex has been removed from the weeb wheel. Fitting. Get out of here, sex. Get out of here. Will undo undo Chan bring sex back? Is she bringing sexy back? Let's see. Thank you, dear. Thank you. What a Roman. What a Roman is gone. Oh, by the way, because undo Chan has lives, we will continue spinning until undo Chan is gone. By the way. All right. I think that makes the most sense because it can end instead of going on forever. Oh, arrow! Arrow! All right, here we go. Arrow is gone. Okay. Arrow is gone. All right, so Constant Pancakes, Man of Shadows, Drew Carrymore 3. Unless Undo Chan. Actually, you know what? Or should we just skip? <laughs> I see an ending here. All right, what is Undo Chain gonna do? If if we if someone gets removed right now, Undo Chain has to bring them back, so that doesn't count, right? I didn't think this through. This might be the stopping point. Just end it? Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? <laughs> Meanwhile, arrow in the chat. No, just do it! Just do it! Just do it! Alright. Would okay, would we get Undo Chan? Let's see. Would we get Undo Chan? Salty if arrow isn't removed right now. You know what? Embrace chaos. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, all right. I'm going to roll the spin the wheel one last time, and if it and and if it doesn't land on Undo Chan, then these are our three winners. Okay, but if it lands on Undo Chan, Arrow comes back, and then we do one final spin, and that's it. All right, here we go. What does Undo Chan have to say about this? Nope, she's done. She wanted to be on the board at the end. She wanted to be in the screenshot. Sorry, Arrow. Sorry, Arrow. All right, so that's it. That is that is all she wrote. Man of Shadows, Drew Carrymore 3, and Constant Pancakes. What are your marbles? We already know Drew Carrymore has uh, the end of Evangelion. Arrow deserves a marble. The Wheel and Undo Chan disagree. Nineteen purple chans, one arrow on the wheel, but it has to land on arrow. Okay, all right, I'll, I'll do that. All right, purple chan, purple chan. Whoops. 
No! Stop! Purple Chan 1. Purple Chan 1. Alright. Man of Shadows has JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but only parts 2 and 4. Okay. We knew Drew Carey more. I, I have already forgotten the other weeb that won. <laughs> pancakes, yeah, pancakes. Who, what, what did pancakes pick? Constant pancakes. All right, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and then one more, purple chan, and then arrow. All right, arrow, you have a one in 20 chance right now, okay? The mob has spoken, and the mob has decided to give you this chance, all right? One in 20 chance, Arrow. There's no way. Give me one undo? No. I will give you a Trolley Chan. And Trolley Chan is spin again. Alright, that's as good as you're getting. I'm not- you're not getting an undo, alright? So it, ha it has to land on you. It's, we're not doing elimination. It has to land on you. Alright, here we go. No, no, the wheel has spoken. The wheel has spoken. Rip. Rip. What did uh, Constant Pancakes pick? Alright, so our, our spin to mission is over. You forgot sex on arrows wheel. Oh, hold on. Let me let me let me add sex and just and just spin because it's not gonna land on anything. All right. What does Dragon's Den think? What did what did uh, what did Pancakes pick? Okay, pancakes. Let, let's remember constant pancakes. Constant pancakes has to, has, has. I choose no. We mean you choose nothing. You choose nothing. You can't choose nothing. The people have to have what they want. You can't choose nothing. You just wanted to participate. All right. Arrow. Arrow gets a marble. Arrow, what do you choose? What do you choose, Arrow? The people's champion. Marble transference. Turns out it is fungible after all. And the wheel agrees, right? The wheel, it's going to land on Arrow now. Now that now that he has got his marble in the way that he should, the wheel is going to reinforce this. Here we go. Gonna land on arrow. It would have been a good clip. All right. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Joe, I was one of the arrow also picks nothing. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? No wonder the wheel wasn't giving it to you.
I, I also choose this guy's nothing? What? I thought you would be happy, Cyrus. One lesser anime marble. Oh, man. <laughs> I reject your role. Technically, we need two more none of the marbles to add another one to, to the mix. And technically, we just got two none of them votes. All right. Yeah, that's true. All right. So that's a second none of them. All right. Okay. That's a second none of them marble. All right. Two none of them marbles now exist. All right. There we go. All right. Let's, let's get inscription on the phone. Oh, my God. I can't wait for everyone's marble, uh, the coins that I, that, I, that I deleted to come back now. Watch. Such a good bit, too. What if none of them wins the marble race? What do you think? We don't watch anything. But that's so lame. For you, maybe. All the weeb's efforts in vain. I know, isn't it wonderful? They're miserable? That's fantastic. So all of them is also an option? No, it has to be um, below... I can't remember how many hours it was. I think it was like 40 hours or something. It has to be below that amount. There's a limit. Just watch 40 hours of anime, any of them. Just just put, like, um, Crunchyroll on Shuffle or something. Do they have a, a Shuffle? Alright, continue. Man, alright. So we're starting a little late. That's good. Alright, so this is Inscription. Um, I really like it. It's a really cool game so far. What happened last time? We got, we got this... It kind of looks blurry. Is it always blurry, or...? Is the resolution messed up, or is this does this look about right? What's the one? It looks a little bit more blurry than it did yesterday. I can't tell if the resolution's messed up or not. Eh, maybe it's fine. May I get a free marble? Sorry, no, no, no. No free marble. No free marble. Do 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 do. All right, rapid fire. Thank you to the following people, and then we will get into the game. I already thought of something I want to try. I've been excited to play it again since yesterday. Who was the last person I said thank you to yesterday? I remember saying thank you to Grey Goo Music. Actually called Eric. Yeah, I remember that. Manic, Manic Pixie Dream Gun. I remember that. Uh, Rexiel De Both. I remember that. Schluter. I remember that. Life Tag? I think Life Tag, yeah. I think maybe it was Schluter was last one or Life Tag. Anyway, thank you Life Tag. Thank you Eon two three nine. Thank you, 
Sinopia. Thank you, Henry Wyatt. These are for subs and resubs and bits. Thank you, Ragdoll665. I'll tell I'll tell RRR. Thingy Pickling. Mao Wanderer. Sal oh no. Sal Sikia Demeli. Hopefully I'm somewhere close. Backseat Streams. How's it going, Backstreet? Have you played this game before, Backseat? Is Backseat still here? Maybe Backseat uh, tapped out during the wheel. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Malkor. Thank you, Ironrath. Hope you're well, Ironrath. Thank you, Lorder. Thank you, Doodleflush. Gamtheus. Heart Trip. Thank you, Zero Vault, for the bits. Thank you, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to Bomb Chan. Eh, it's kind of lewd after all. And then there's uh, Drew Carrymore buying Weeb on the wheel here. Uh, thank you, Scruffix5, Doc Hooliday, Hypothetical Walrus, Job PT, or Jopt, one of those. And scrolling through all these people that got you baited into wasting their coins, and then I was the one who got you baited afterwards. Thank you, Arthur Gunnarsson, Dev Zero, Volgus Banga, Lucas Carper. Out of Jam Bread. Uh-oh. Did you guys see the Persona 3 trailer that released today? It was pretty good. It looks really good. Thank you, Ashley Lucas, for the resub. Thank you, LLLUC, for a ton of bits. Cool streamer, cool YouTube, longtime fan. Have some have some money. This, this was during the wheel bullshit. Thank you for the 5,000 bits, Sieve. Holy crap. Sorry, we were, we were like deep into our bullshit at that time. Sorry about that. Thank you so much for the bits. Hopefully you're still here. Maybe it was because of the wheel. Maybe we should go back to the wheel. Thank you, Fried Penguin 2, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Fried Penguin. Do people eat Penguin? I, I guess people have eaten Penguin. I bet Penguin doesn't taste very good. Thank you, Javier Philippe331, an, an anonymous gifter for gifting a sub to sex. Thank you, ZCD, for the resub. Awful Farful for gifting a sub to Arrow. <laughs> I can't believe it was <laughs> two nothings, man. Ah, oh, thank you, Slink1701. Jonathan Simple as well. Thank you, Caseon. Thank you, Pepperdew for the bits. Poops McYolo. <laughs> also resubscribed. And the last set on my list is Overlord Kato, Nuclear Plums. Lemonocito, lemon, lemoncito, not lemonocito, lemoncito, and inalib. With a one-year sub um, from three people there: nuclear plums, lemon, and inalib. All, all one-year club. Thank you so much. Oh, and thank you, Dalmec, for gifting another sub to uh, Don Quixote Delaman Cave. Delaman Cave. Thank you. You missed my resub yesterday. Did I? I'm sorry, uh, shipper in Japan. I thought I, I thought I read them all yesterday. Thank you for the resub. Do the nothings by Arrow and Pancakes count as separate for adding one mil to the goal for every anime marble redeemed? Um, they would count, but they're not anime, so they don't count for for removing a million. How could they? They're not anime. They're not anime. Okay, so I've been thinking that this, right, um, a cuckoo clock comes out at the hour. So if I just, I mean, it's a long shot, but if I just put like all of them on and then what would it be? Just, this is the one, right? And I just cycle through. Okay, there you go. All right, what's this? Does it fit? Okay. Alright, let's play. Thought it was going to be a card. Alright, um... I can't remember what deck we have. Can I see the deck? I can. Alright, this is our deck. We have a Golden Pelt. A Stunted Wolf. These three talk, right? We Where did we get Stunted Wolf from again? Was it like... Did that come from here? 
No, this this gave us a a statue that we put here, which gave us the 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 knife, and then the knife. What's this? I, I have no idea what that is. Okay, uh, and that's what. Uh, where did Stunted Wolf? Oh, Stunted Wolf came from um from the uh from the clock, and was like um uh to take something out beforehand. All right. All right. Let's keep going. So you found the stunted wolf. I have seen this play out enough times to know that a plan is in motion. Make haste. Yep. Why do you look different now? What is this? can't play that presently but your squirrel squirrel is free no but you can play your squirrel no okay all right what do you have you have um mighty leap uh thing on wolves porcupine stump and all right we can put a squirrel down and we can put stoat. And what's this? Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Alright, so we can put that here. You're going to kill that anyway. And that's going to do two damage to, to stoat, but that's fine. I think we're okay. I think we just, we just played squirrel. And then we put stoat down. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, now what? Stoat's gonna kill Coyote and then die to the Porcupine right afterwards. So we could sacrifice Stoat to put the Bloodhound down. It's only when it moves. I feel like I'm not very good at this guy. I wish, you know what? I wish we had stopped at the end of the run yesterday because I'm, I feel like I'm out of sorts with what we have now. I can't, I can't fully remember even though we looked at the, we looked at the deck. Uh, getting another squirrel, and we can sacrifice the squirrel, and no, we can't. We, we, well, we could. We could sacrifice the squirrel, and we could put stink bug and bloodhound down, right? That's probably good. Yeah, let's do that. So we've sacrificed the squirrel, and now we can put stink bug. Sorry, Stoat. We can sacrifice stink. No, we put Bloodhound down first by sacrificing Stoat and Squirrel, and we want to put we want to put um, Stink Bug here to remove that from one, right? I think, yeah. And we put Stink Bug here. All right, and now you do one damage and kill it, and then you come down do one damage and is that going to do an extra one? No, when it's struck. Oh, you're not even do damage because because you're stinky. All right, that's cool. All right, I think this is good. Okay, so we should probably just draw a card and hope we get one that we can play for free. We got a bullfrog. Bullfrog is, is two, and I don't think we should play it. I think we should just pass. What does this do? Stinky. All right, what, what is this, though? What kind of... Can I just use this whenever I want? Oh, it's active. Oh, this is, this is forever. Oh, okay. I just don't have anything that... Okay. I just don't have anything that can use it. All right, you're gonna do and take one damage. You're gonna, you're almost gonna die next turn. Hmm. Oh, we won. Okay. We just win. All right, Trapper. I don't think we have many, many teeth though. Trapper and Smoosh, and then we go, or get a new card and upgrade a card, and then we go. I kind of want to get a new card and upgrade. I feel like our deck isn't that great. 
And I don't, I don't even know how many teeth that we have to do the trapper. I don't think we have very many. And we have a golden pelt already, right? You can see how many teeth that we're scrolling up. Oh, can we? We have three. Yeah, that's not worth it. Shit. That's not worth it. Let's go. I don't recall making that one. Bell ring? The something represented by this. Alright, well, I'm taking that one. That one looks fun. What the hell's that? The warm light of a campfire is a welcome, was a welcome sight, but the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm creature by the fire, enhance its health, said one. Alright, this seems legit to us. Nope? What do you mean, nope? Okay, if you must... Oh, no. Is there... Maybe it's just a, a small chance. I'm kind of feeling maybe the wolf. Does the wolf have ant power? What's the wolf over there? I can't see it. Oh, is this the amount of power... It, it does the bell ring? How many turns this passes? How much damage it does? I bet you that's what it is. Uh, let's go Bloodhound. Survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your Bloodhound. Uh-oh. There are no continues, my friend. A chill mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me gold, be, be darned. Oh no, gosh. All right, what if I, what if a golden, if I put a golden pelt down and it dies, do I lose it forever? All right, coyote and pack mule. I think we wanna, we wanna kill the pack mule to get more cards. Uh, the smoke, four bones. All right, we definitely wanna put the smoke down. We have a squirrel, and we can put bullfrog down, and the bullfrog can block the coyote. No, you're going to come and hit us, so we don't want to do that. Should we just pass? I think we pass, and then we kill the coyote next turn. I think we pass. All right, so Adder's coming down and is gonna hit the boulder. Will, will an Adder one-shot a boulder? I don't know. All right, so let's draw a card. We got Bloodhound, that's good. It's good that we got a Bloodhound. All right, so let's put a Squirrel down, and then put Bullfrog down to kill the coyote. All right, coyote's dead now, and then bullfrog is just gonna sit there. All right, do we wanna put the smoke down and kill it and then get a stink bug out? And then we have two just just rocking it. I don't know. And then next turn we could possibly sacrifice stink bug with a squirrel in order to put the bloodhound down. That seems like it might be a good play. Develop the board a bit. Let's put smoke down and then Sacrifice if I sacrifice. Oh, I can't do that. Can I because I, I need a card to sacrifice Shit. Well, that's okay. It's there. I can sacrifice it next turn with a uh, with a squirrel. That's not the end of the world. All right. Oh It does it does just straight up kill kill the boulder interesting. All right, so stink bug can kill the can kill the snake All right, so that's good. Let's do that. You can okay. Do we want to draw a squirrel if we draw a squirrel we can put we can kill smoke and then put a bloodhound down. I think we want to do that. So we put the squirrel down, and then we're going to put a bloodhound down. And the bloodhound can go here, and then stink bug can go here and kill that. All right, there we go. That's pretty good. All right, let's uh, draw a card. You took the film roll. Is that correct? My plan here's its moment of truth, but you must defeat him first. Okay, you are one blood for a 2-2. Two, two. That's pretty good, actually.
Why didn't our dog move? When the opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card variant sigil will move to that space. Oh, you, you'll move now, right? So when it moves down, he's going to move over there? Is that right? Okay, yeah, there we go. Who let that dog go? Who, 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 who? Another wolf. Okay, I think this is fine. You're gonna kill the coyote, you're gonna attack, you're gonna hit that. I think we just keep going. Mole. You know, I want the Kraken thing. There we go. So this is two blood. Yeah, I wanna play this. How do I play this? Two blood. Hmm. 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 Is it worth it? It seems like it might be fun. Let's do it. All right. Two. Really? Two? Oh. That's not what I thought I was going to do. All right, well, that sucks. Ah, elk, dag, nabbit. There's gold in them cards. No, don't attack it. No, no, no. Corpses are in no short supply. Corpse maggots. One, two. What the fuck is that? Gold, I've struck gold. Well, this sucks. Corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil is in a sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. What? Oh so that didn't that wasn't randomly spawned from uh, from him hitting it. That was in our hands. Oh okay, I see that. Alright, that's cool. That's what happened there. All right, so if we get a squirrel, we can put the wolf cut. We can put the elk down. The elk is probably really good. Let's get another squirrel. So we're gonna play two squirrels, and we're gonna put the elk down, and we're gonna put the elk uh, here. All right, and we're gonna do three damage to him right now. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're not gonna do that. We we're gonna hit the. We're gonna hit the, the the dog. No, we are because he's not active yet. Okay, he's about to play it. Is what he's gonna do. All right, get him. All right, cool. Alright, do we just win? I feel like we just win. Do we want to do more damage? What can we do to do more damage? A squirrel? And then squirrel? No, the bloodhound's gonna is going to, to block it. Yeah, let's see what happens. Yeah, okay. Never mind. We will not perish quite yet. Perhaps one of these will entice you. That filthy feral hog, it becomes incensed when its chimes are struck. Bellist. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. What? Okay. A largely unimpressive specimen. Alright, that grows into a moth, though, and the moth is great. Child 13. Many lives. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Alright, that seems pretty good, but I think, I think the moth is really good, too, right? The moth attacks in both directions. The moth is really, really good. But it's an investment. I don't know, man. This seems pretty good, but it's it's two blood, and we have a lot of we have a lot of trouble getting two blood on there. We don't really have a good um, a good blood generation just yet. So maybe this is the play. We put that, and then we can get we can get turns going every single time. We could also sacrifice the child onto another card and have a card that has like um, attacks that we can sacrifice con continually to, right? Yeah, let's do that. If 
Free the prospector's unhinged gaze, you looked ahead. We will we will need another map. Um the map um the map. As the air grew humid, your boots became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. Alright, do we want a blood one or do we want um to get a card? I feel like choosing the blood we're picking like like weird groups right now, right? I wanna go blood. Let's go blood. One blood, two blood, or three blood. Ooh, I kind of want the three blood. I know what we just said, but I kind of want the three blood. I think that that's fun. I feel like we need a big card. Thank you, an anonymous gifter, for gifting a sub to Sex2. Thank you, Rathulian, for the resub. Thank you, Lag versus Skill, for the a tier three sub. Thank you so much, Lag versus Skill. Thank you, Eduardo Savs, also for the resub, and. Oh no, Feljord Finch, hopefully, for the resub as well. Thank you. I'm going three. Grizzly, yes, Grizzly. I love the Grizzly. I love the Grizzly. All right. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. What? Oh, oh no, you can't use that. I, I, I think, okay. Oh, oh, okay, cool, all right. Try, wait, what? Urine, urine elk thing? Oh. Okay, I think we squirrel to get child on, on the board, right? Squirrel and then sacrifice and we get child on and now we can sacrifice one every single turn and next turn we can get um, a squirrel what, what the fuck is this to the user nothing will happen this bottle of goo has no use I'm serious you cannot use that there's no possible use for it I'll place it on that shelf over there for now my advice avoid it what Why am I continually surprised by his bullshit? Alright, what do we do? What do we do? You will survive. Hold on. If I put you down... You're gonna move down, bloodhound over, then you're gonna move down, bloodhound over, and then you're gonna die to the poison, so we can't play you. We can play you, though, and we can put you here. Oh, no, then you're, gonna, you're just gonna die. That fucking sucks. But we'll do. We'll deal three damage. Ooh. We meet again. Ooh. I feel like we pass. I feel like we pass. We take three damage. That sucks, but whatever. And then next turn, we squirrel and we and we sacrifice and we put. No, we won't have enough, will we? Shit. It's just throwing the stunted wolf to die to, to this thing. Lame. Lame. What if we get a? Will we get another squirrel next turn though? We can get two squirrels next turn, and then we can play, play, kill, kill. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. So then I take a squirrel. An emergency squirrel. All right, and then I put both squirrels down. And then I stunted wolf here to kill the snake. And then I sacrifice... What do I want? Do I want the wolf or do I want the bloodhound? Wolf does three damage. Let's do that. And then I sacrifice these two to put this down. And then kill, kill, and then he has to do something. Some plays next turn. Alright. You know what? This was risky. Because if he, if he put a flying thing down, we would have been fucked. He forgot... What did I forget? What did I forget? Blind what? Oh, 
Are you guys fucking with me or did I really forget something? What did I forget? What? Like this? Trial 13 has turned into a monster? I didn't forget that. That's new to me. cycle every time you're sacrificed oh our wolf's gonna die oh actually I think we just win don't we no we don't we don't just win all right let's see if we bullfrog and we sacrifice yeah, so every single time we sacrifice trial 13, it cycles over to having two damage with flight. That's cool. All right, I think we just win. A covetous magpie, it can fetch any card in your deck. Oh, -ho! really? All right, that seems really good. Diligent ant, its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. All right, I hate the ants. Maybe if you build like a whole thing around ants, that'd be good. I kind of feel the magpie is the best card here. It's it's an investment, it's two blood, but we have, we have child to do it, and then we can search for a really good card to do, I think. Let's do it. It's the most fun, and I always like having fun. All right, do we want to smoosh? Do we want to smoosh? Ooh, what's the X? What's the X chat? Is is X the um the traitor? Delete a card. Oh, delete a card. Thank you. All right, you know what? What do you say? Fucking about the the shelf. I thought we got the teeth. Keep sealed. Arg. The pain is unbearable. Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Could it be? You have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus? Can you see me? Can you free me? Arg, it is done. The master is free. Oh, the end must be close now. If Magnificus is free, it must be close. Ooh. Arg, watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He bested me this time, but I will have another chance. Oh, I see you have a little something special up your sleeve. Fear not, I won't blow your cover. You just need to get a hold of that camera of his. Maybe if you defeated him, you would get a chance. I've seen challenges touch his legendary camera, but only if they are able to defeat him. Oh. Didn't we touch the camera last time? And I don't think we defeated him. Alright, I think we're smushing. Although... Going getting some items is probably good here. Oh, do we have another chance for that later? We can smoosh. Nah, I think we want to smoosh. Alright, what are we smooshing? We are smooshing. Alright, do we want to smoosh the magpie? Will it smoosh both? Magpie has two. Now that child cycles every time it's sacrificed, that seems like just good to leave child as it is. I think we smoosh the, the magpie and we find out what happens if you smoosh too. Alright, let's smoosh magpie. Who are we smooshing on? Okay, if we do it on golden pelt, it's free, but I think we're we're using the golden pelt later. Alright, wolf. 
the making it a one cost seems really good and also makes um the wolf guy fly making it a bone cost is also good too because then we're because then we can use it and then we're not going to be um uh wasting blood to, to that we can spend on the thing that we draw with it right what are we trying to get from it what what's the best card to get the child in order to get it hmm all right i don't know what to do making it one blood or making it bones I'm feeling the bones. I'm feeling the bones. I'm going... I'm going bones. Empower me. Nice. Okay, what are you, what are you putting down? What does this hook do again, by the way? I can steal a card? Is that what that is? To the user, hook one of my cards and take it as your own. You must have an empty space on your side to receive. Oh, I just receive it for, I can use it once and I receive it for the round. I don't get it forever. Okay, I don't get it forever. All right, putting stoat down, um, touch of death. Putting stoke down means we'll kill the coyote next turn, but also block two damage. I think we have to put stoke down. This is a fucking tough opening. What the hell? <laughs> you fucking serious? Okay, um, you're gonna kill that, and then we're gonna take how many damage was these again? I think we put the bull. Oh, you can block. I think it was one. Yeah, let's let's do squirrel, squirrel, and then we're gonna put bullfrog down here. All right, there we go. I think this is pretty good. Okay, um, you know what? Maybe this wasn't a good play. Maybe we should have taken damage instead. Because you just fucking hide. Shit. Oh, man. Alright, shit. Okay, um, let's, let's draw a card. I think we need to draw a card. Hopefully we get the stinky. No, we got Grizzly. Fuck. 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 Bullfrog, no. Okay, uh, I, like a squirrel does nothing for us, but we need to build up squirrels in order to put like a grizzly on the board, right? If we do, if we get one squirrel right now, Stoat's gonna die. If we get one squirrel, Stoat's dead. Fuck. I don't know what to do. We can maybe put the golden pelt down and block, but will the golden pelt die? Like, I don't think so. Can you sacrifice the pelt for blood? Oh, I really don't want to use our hook. I'm going squirrel. Rip stout. All right. Can you sacrifice a golden pelt for 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 um for money for, for blood? Draw a card. Fuck. I have to draw the card first. I wish I knew. I wish I put it down. Okay. So if you can sacrifice the golden pelt for blood, then we can play the grizzly. If we don't play the grizzly, then if we can't, then we're, we're fucked because we're gonna take, I don't know how much damage. We're gonna take two, three, four, f okay, we're dead. So we need, we need to draw this and hope for the best. We need to draw and, and hope that we get something good. We got stunted wolf. All right, is that good? It's not, is it? All right, let's put, let's put the, um, let's put the pelt down and can we sacrifice for it? No, you can't. All right, so that's gonna block. 
All right. Two. All right. I don't know how how this is gonna go. All right, golden pelt blocked. What do we do now? You're gonna kill the bat, then you're gonna attack and attack. Once again, I feel like we have to we have to draw and hope we get this, the 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 bone one. We got child. I think it's GG. I think it's GG. Okay, so we're going to lose a candle. Is it worth it to use the hook right now? Would the hook even save us? I don't think it would. Maybe it would actually. Maybe it would save us, because it would do one damage. It would we would do one damage back to him, dead block, and then these trade one damage, and then next turn you're gonna come up and you, and we're gonna kill you maybe. All right, is it worth it? I don't know if it's worth it or not. I feel like we just we just eat the candle and we just save the hook. Wild skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Rat King Adder. Okay, I like the Adder because I, I would like to put poison uh, with a smoosh. Rat King, not that great. We don't really have a lot of bones. I'm going Adder. And we can. Oh, what's the mushroom? That's new. What's that? What's that over there? That's new too, isn't it? What's the what's the dragon thing? Oh, is that a pick a card, but you have to pick the species instead of what it is? I wish there was like a legend of what these were. All right, what's the mushroom? You found yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. <laughs> and we are per performing our experiments far from from we are not welcome elsewhere we will experiment on your flock yes we will need two of the same creatures one for each of us all right i don't i don't think i have that oh dear you don't you don't have you have no duplicate cards take one of ours we will use it next time what I will have two golden pelts. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do an experiment afterwards or something or what? Oh, okay. Oh, the pelt, the pelt didn't die when uh, it was it wasn't gone forever when it when it got destroyed. How is Joe so lucky? I feel like my deck sucks. I don't feel like I am lucky this round. Or or this run. I feel like we don't have many things that work together yet, but like I don't know. Hmm. I don't even think we're we're gonna get to this to the shop in order to uh to trade these pelts in, let's put it that way. Where where are we going? Where is the shop? What is that? Okay, so you have Kingfisher, so you're gonna- I can never kill you, is that right? I can never kill these guys. 
And Raven Egg is going to turn into, into a flying thing, and we can kill that. So we probably want to put a 2 down to kill the egg right away. Um, so putting... Uh, will the squirrel... Will the bullfrog kill it in 2 turns? It's 1 turn to turn, right? That's what the 1 means. So that's not gonna that's not going to work. All right, put a squirrel down, put a bullfrog down. I don't want to block. I just want I want the bullfrog to do damage. I think. And then next turn I can I can sacrifice the frog and the squirrel to put a wolf down, which will kill the egg. And then I don't have to deal with this egg bullshit. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, maybe the bullfrog should should uh should block then cuz we're going to sacrifice it next turn, right? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Now we're thinking with portals. Alright, so you're going to attack, then block damage, and then next turn I'm going to get a squirrel, and I'm going to squirrel sacrifice on, on that and the bullfrog to put the wolf down to kill the egg. Alright, that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we, we saved the damage there. Alright, so now I'm going to take a squirrel, and I'm going to sacrifice, and I'm going to put the squirrel down, and I'm going to put the wolf down, I'm going to sacrifice these two, and there you go, you're going to kill the egg. Nice. Alright. Shit. What's coming? Another otter. Alright. <sighs> See, I feel like I, I don't I don't get to play a lot of cards, man. Like Is there something about this game I'm not understanding? I feel constantly fucked by, by this like squirrel sacrifice mechanic. Maybe I need more bone cards? Oh, great. I see, yeah, like, maybe that was just a bad play. Maybe I should have just picked, picked the fucking, uh... Picked the squirrel instead. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna kill the river otter next turn. We're not. We're not killing the river otter next turn. The, ri the river otter is going to kill our wolf next turn. We're going to hit for three right now. If I get something good from here, if I get bones. No, I don't. I, again, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, chat. I feel like I'm not playing very well. Okay, so do I do I just draw, hope I get something good, and if I don't get anything well, I, I'm gonna hook one of those cards over and see if I can get something good for it. Hook hook this shit over. Let's try it. Let's see if we get something good. We got stink bug. So we got bones. Alright, that's cool. So let's put it down. And then what what card are we gonna search for? Alright, what do we want? Okay, if we if we use the hook on on one of his cards, we can we can steal one of his and then sacrifice it and put this guy down, and then we do one, two, three, we do six damage. Is that enough to win? I can't see the thing right now. Is six damage enough to win? I think it might be. Whereas if we put child down, I don't think we have anything. We have a grizzly in our hand right now, right? I don't think we can put any, any grizzly. I think we should do it. All right, let's do that. All right, so now I'm gonna I'm going to use the hook. Yeah, because right now we're doing four damage. So one, two, three, four. Okay, I think this might be enough. Let's hook. And what are we hooking? This guy. All right, so we've hooked the kingfisher. Now we're doing five damage, which isn't enough. But if we sacrifice that to, to get the the stunted wolf. I think that is enough, right? That's six damage, one, and then it's five to kill, and we're we're tipped over. Okay, so I think that's it. I think I think I think that's GG. I hope. Okay, but we lost our hook for it, unfortunately. All right, I feel what's. Chat, can you tell me, have I seen this? Okay, first of all, question one. Have I seen this before? Yes? Okay, 
can you tell me what it is, please? Because, like, the way I'm streaming, like, like I'm not writing it down. I would have continued playing this game last night. I would have remembered. What is it? It's choose this. Oh, it's choose a species. Okay, so I was right on there. Okay, I think I want to go over here and do the smooch then. An inviolable invi beehive. When it's attacked, you will draw a bee. The adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. All right. These are pretty good, I gotta say. Because they're pretty, like, fucking invincible. I think I want one of those rather than a red river snapper. And it's also a one blood. What does Hive do again? Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. Yeah, what? but what does it cost? Does it cost one blood? I think it costs blood, doesn't it? They're free? Are they really? We had the beehive before and I didn't really like it. But if they are free, then that's pretty good. I'm going Kingfisher. All right, it's smoosh time. Do, 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 do. All right, do we want to smoosh the Kingfisher? Do we want to smoosh the Kingfisher? Do we want to smoosh the Adder? Do we want to smoosh the child? Smooshing the child means that we have a higher chance of drawing something that has um, the can be sacrificed continually power, which is really good. However, the child when sacrificed becomes like damage, a damage dealer. So it's actually a pretty f damn good card, actually. Whereas smooshing the Kingfisher, we could put the Kingfisher and just have something that does a lot of damage and then hides every single turn and will fly and attack uh, the boss. If we put that on, on a wolf, maybe, that's pretty good, but then we can't block. But blocking isn't really that great, I think. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I wish we had a, a pincer attack so we could put put uh, this uh, on something. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should put on something because two, two, uh, two blood for, for the poison effect is kind of shit. But putting the poison effect on a, on a one blood is really good. Yeah, I'm doing that. All right, what are we putting it on? The Grizzly, no, not the Grizzly, um, a one blood. So you, and then you can kill whatever, or the Bullfrog, and then the Bullfrog. Bullfrog's a one, and then that, I think that's more value. It's just it's just hitting a one, and then if we want to block something, we already have, that we have multiple utility on that one. But you have no utility whatsoever. Do we want to stack or do, yeah, I'm putting on him. Break time? Yeah, we'll do the boss and then we'll do break. Alright, here we go. You beheld an immense man slouched beside uh, a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some trunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up, and some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. You bring fresh fish? Yes. Easy choose. Uh oh. The angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Alright, thank you. Alright, he doesn't do it right away though, right? Okay, what are you putting on the board? Kingfisher. Alright, so we need to do damage. Alright, putting, putting stink bug here. Putting, oh, we can't because we don't have any any bones. Fuck. He 
He doesn't do it right away, right? Let's find out. Yeah, he doesn't. I think he does it like after a turn or two. Alright, let's put the bullfrog down. All stale, hard choose. Okay, so now we can put we can put a squirrel down, sacrifice it, and we can get no we can't, we can't do that. Do you wanna put the pelt down? We'll take the pelt. That's not bad, actually. Okay, do we want to take a squirrel? Do we want to draw a card? If we take the squirrel, we have another squirrel to sacrifice next turn on the board. And he's going to take the pelt. If I put the pelt here, is he going to draw it and push that one back? That would be kind of cool. Um, I'm taking the card. Alright, stunted wolf. That's good. Okay, so let's put the golden pelt down and hope he takes it. New fish, easy shoes. Alright, so he's going to take that. We get an attack. Let's see what happens. And then next turn we can squirrel and then stunted wolf. But if that doesn't... Or, or no, we can't do that because he's going to steal it. But let's see what happens. Oh, you... you okay. Oh, cool. Alright, so we blocked it. Take fish, go fish. Alright, so now what? We definitely want a squirrel. He's not doing it this turn. Cool. Bullfrog, bullfrog. Take a squirrel. Squirrel here. Sacrifice the squirrel. Put here. Use me wisely. Now we can put you here. And we get to draw a card. All right, what do we want to draw? Do we want to draw... Damage child? Putting child that he might steal the child. Grizzly? If we put Grizzly down, he's going to steal it. But we can put Grizzly down and do a bunch of damage. We can put Grizzly down, sacrifice, boom, 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 put Grizzly down, then pick a squirrel next turn and put the squirrel down, he steals the squirrel. And then that's it. Or we could get Golden Pelt. Golden Pelt's actually pretty good to get here, because if he, if one of our cards dies, he, he, he's just going to steal another Golden Pelt, right? And then that's blocking him again. That's actually pretty good. I don't know what to do. I think I want Grizzly. I'm going Grizzly. Alright, Grizzly. Maybe that was a bad play, because we, we can't play it next turn. Fish stale, hard shoes. Alright. Okay, so... What happens right now? Because right now, if I... If I end the turn, I, I phase him. I guess we'll find out. I put Squirrel down. Alright, so you're taking that one. Now I'm gonna phase you. What happens? I'm not gonna remember this. Alright, he resets. So I didn't have to play the Squirrel. Interesting. Alright, Bait Bucket. What do these do again? After you kill the Bait Bucket, I think they become a shark, don't they? Well, that's really shitty. What? Hold on, if I just sacrifice these three and just sit here and do nothing, are, do I just win in five turns because your bait buckets can't do shit and I'm just gonna attack over you? But what am, what am I sacrificing to do that? I would need to put a, um, a grizzly down. A grizzly can tank it though, actually. A, gri a grizzly, I think a grizzly could do it. Let's draw. Bloodhound. Alright, let's try it. Let's, let's, uh, let's tank it. And let's put it right here. 
And I, I think I think that's okay, unless he has some shenanigans. Go fish. Oh fuck you and your bait buckets! Okay, I think we win. Right? Five damage, I think we win. It's GG. Correct? I win. Yeah. All right. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. All right. And we will find out what cards we have after the break. Alright, we'll find out which card we're going to take after the break. Long Elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. What? The Douse. The Amorphous Amoeba. Its sigils are ever-changing. What? Alright, that's cool. Alright, we'll <laughs> Elk the Long Way. <laughs> Oh man, anyway, uh, before I go, um, thank you to uh, T Pizzle for the resub, Raffi Raven for the resub, Captain JK for the resub, Keylocks for the resub, Arara Deterno for the resub, Acer Sasha also for the resub, and Commissar Jimbo for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Commissar Jimbo. I'll be gone for five minutes. So if you've been sitting the whole time, then please get up and walk around. It's not good to be sitting for so long. Um, if you want to do a bet, of which we do, then, you know, here we go. But, um,. Man, these all suck, don't they? These all suck. Anyway, be right back. Okay, so let us review. Why is Long Elk... Why does it have such a weird picture? Alright, this has poison, and it also moves. At the end of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Alright, so Long Elk will move from slot to slot, and it will, and it will one-hit kill anything that it touches. Right? That's such a weird picture. The Douse puts, um, kind of reminds me of uh, the shield bearer card from Hearthstone that taunts what, whatever's next to it or whatever. So this will put zero, zero ones next to it. So it's a good for blocking, but like if, if I put that next to, um, any, like any of the flying enemies, they're just going to be there forever and they're never going to be able to do anything. It's just going to fill up our board and it's going to be shit. Um... Like, situationally, I think that's really good. I don't know. It's also blood. I feel like we don't have anything to really spend bones on. Amoeba is like, when a card bearing sigil is drawn, the sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. All right. See, that just sounds like a fun card. That that seems like it might like have some opportunity to be like, oh my god, I drew it and it has this on it. So it's when it's drawn, so every... Every every round, but not every turn, every 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 fight, it's going to be... It's going to do something new. All right. And we're going to go with this one. Thank you, Doubt Degree, for the resub before I pick the card. Thank you very much, Doubt Degree. The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. A moment. Uh-oh. Sheets of icy snow battered your body as you fought your way to a vantage point. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly, misplaced teeth. You continued on through the snow line. All right, is that the traitor? Or is that the... That's... Oh, what the fuck was that? I can't remember what that one is. This one... Is this one an event? I kind of want to start taking notes. I think we I think we we did two of these in the beginning, right? Th this is when he puts like a, a stone arch, and we have to um, we have to pick something or do some sort of event thing. Oh, that's that's the trader, is it? We have to go to the trader. We have two golden pelts, and then we get to delete a card. Let's go. Are your pelts clean? Golden pelt, incredible golden pelts. Mantis God. 
Amalgam. It's a two three three mantis. Oh, what if we what if we smoosh mantis god on a grizzly? Oh my god. Oh my mantis god. Holy shit. That would be really good. I'm taking it. Oh, we get to, we get to choose. We get two. All right. Do we want another child or do we want amalgam? Amal two two fucking for a three three. That's pretty fucking good. Two three three is good. I'm going for it. These are exquisite, my thanks. You're welcome, bro. Alright. Now we get to delete our amalgam. Let's delete it! Please know if it must be. Do what you must. Alright, what are we deleting? The Kingfisher! Okay, this card kind of sucks, because I don't know what this does. Like, does it do damage for every bell ring it hears after it's been played? Okay, what is the card I'm always unhappy to get? This one sucks. Uh, two, five, that's actually pretty good. We upgraded it. This one is eh. Okay, it's between this one and, and the bull. I think we're getting rid of the bullfrog. Bullfrog or kingfisher? I'm getting rid of the bullfrog. And that's the end of my story. Nice top deck. Whoa, what? You're, you're an elk? Really? Okay. UI blind? What UI blind? What UI blind? This up here is, is UI blind? This card counts as everything, I'm guessing. Right? Bottom left. This? Then why don't the other ones have it? I think you're being UI blind. Okay. Squirrel and putting Stoat down seems like a good play. Stoat can kill the Raven Egg next turn. Oh, you're... You, oh, shit. The Elk Fawn turns into something horrible. Oh... But we can probably kill the... Kill that next turn. Alright. Now what? This needs to die. You're gonna kill the raven egg. That's great. We have two bones. Alright. Do we roll the bones? If we get a squirrel, that actually gives us fucking jack and shit. Like, actually nothing. So, if we roll the bones, though, there is a chance. There's a chance. It's a slim chance. That... I'm doing it. Yes! Alright. Nice. Alright. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh 
owned. Owned hard. All right. Owned. All right. Do we want to top deck again or what? How, how do you have so many elks? What the fuck is this shit? Okay, if we take a squirrel, we can play Amalgam next turn. And that's what th I think we need to do it. Let's let's uh let's invest. <sighs> man, this this game's like like actually fucking hard. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it so hard? All right, so you're gonna kill that. That's great. And then so you're gonna do two damage But I can do three damage with with my amalgam, but I can also put it here and Not kill you though, but it'll take you down to one. That's not worth it to me at all um, We can put it here and then you're gonna move down and attack and then will I kill you next turn? Or are you gonna move? I don't know. I think you're gonna You're gonna come down and then move aren't you? Uh, I don't know actually. Let's 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 put it there anyway and see. All right, so let's go. So Amalgam's going down here. It's gonna do three. All right, there we go. Oh man, Sto is making plays. Holy crap! Rabbit, why is it? Oh, are you sacrificing or what? W what are you doing? What? All right, do we want another squirrel? I think we want another squirrel. And then we can play this next turn. All right, I'm, I'm going squirrel. Squiddle. Wait, it transforms and then it attacks? That's kind of bullshit. All right, so you're block Moose buck! At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed on this uh, in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Will it push them off the board? Do you attack and then move, or do you move and then attack? Well, this kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, I think... I think I squirrel and put this thing down here. Alright, let's see. Three. So I end the turn. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Do I win? Do I win? Let's squirrel block. I think maybe I win. Yay! All right. Win a battle with damage from squirrels. All right. We won. That was actually pretty hard. Oh. Uh, thank you, Nihili. Nihili for the resub. Thank you, Violet Impetus for the resub, and Top Lolly with the Chad hype chat because it just says message deleted. All right. I don't know why you did that, Top Lolly, but thank you, Top Lolly. Chad, move. I said thank you to Doubt Degree, didn't I? Because Commissar Jimbo. Yeah, I did. I think. Just in case I didn't, though. Thank, thank you, Doubt Degree. Okay, what are we doing? Mushroom. Do we have a duplicate card? Are we gonna are we gonna be given another duplicate if we go there? Or is that a one-time thing? Get a new card, upgrade, get species. Okay, that kind of sucks. I think I'd rather go this way. Because we this this cancels ah oh, upgrade <sighs> species card fucking sucks man. How many teeth do we have? Oh, we have a lot of teeth. We could get another golden pelt, and we get to see what happens with mushroom. <sighs> Upgrading a card is really let's go this way. The pelts are clean. 
and so are my prices. Here, have a free one. Thank you. All right, I would like uh, I would like the golden pelt, please. Thank you. Do I want to get another pelt? I don't, do I? Because it's gonna fill our deck with crap. That's it. That's good enough. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for your patronage. Okay. All right, what are you gonna do? Find yourself among a grove of thick pungent mushrooms. Just going to see figure through this cloud of spores. Did you bring us two the same? We would like to experiment. I didn't, sorry. Oh, hmm. All your cards are synced, no pairs. Okay, we gotta go second child, right? Free child? You know how much I like to collect children. We gotta go free child. If you are new to the stream, uh, I have four children, IRL. I am a dad to four children. What the fuck did you turn into? Corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand will automatically place it. Okay, that's good. So we get a free amoeba if we play our cards right. What the fuck are you? Elk. Fu oh, fucking hell, not again. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of boned. I kind of just want to play the amoeba, actually, even though it's free. Wait, hold on. If I sacrifice the squirrel, will it come on? No. Perishes by combat. It's specifically said by combat. All right. Um. If I play you. You're going to hit and then take a hit, and then we're gonna hit back next turn, preventing you. But you have spikes, so you're, we're gonna die. However, it stops us from turning into like a two-four. Probably worth it. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, what else did you put on? Another one. What the, what the fuck is this shit? This is insane. Alright, do we just grizzly? Do we sacrifice all of them and grizzly? I'm doing it. Do, 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 do. Yes! Alright. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild, make way for it. Hmm. 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 This seems shit, to be honest. I think I'd just rather have another grizzly. More bones is always good. Yeah, we don't have many things that spend bones. Can I see my deck? Stink bug. And amoeba, and that's it. But it's a 1-1. One, one. Oh, does the mushroom mean that we'll have two now? Is that what it means? And one grizzly. And then when we go to the mushroom later, we can get two grizzlies. Alright. Free bones. What does scissors do again? We can cut up one of the cards. That seems, like, bonkers powerful. If there's a card that's really trouble, we can just break it with the scissors. I'm going scissors. Frozen opossum. Is it free? I'm going that. More, more scissors. Going scissors. All right. I don't. I, maybe I'm sleeping on items. Items seem pretty good. All right. Amalgam. Vegeta. Rabbit. 
elk fawn is gonna come down and move. Okay. I think we put I think we put Stoke down for sure. Stoke kills the rabbit. Rabbit's really weird. Bad play. Yeah, probably. To the user, you may cut up one of your adversary's cards. It is destroyed. That's that's so powerful. Holy crap. Okay, what do we want to do? He's kind of clogged. Do we get a squirrel and next turn we put the amalgam down? I think we kind of do that. I think we get a squirrel and we just pass. Okay, and next turn we put amalgam down, which is going to hit that for... for uh, that's actually kind of shit. Bloodhound? You're gonna move next turn, and then we can. You're gonna. Stoke's gonna kill you, and then. Oh, you're gonna move up, and you're gonna kill Stoat actually. So Stoat's gonna block. So we could sacrifice. No, it's not gonna be good. If we put Amalgam down, he's only gonna do one. I think we put Amalgam down. Is this a bad play? Man, I don't know. No! Yeah, this is a bad play. This is a bad play. Amalgam is going to be getting hit a lot. This is insane! Look at all the cards I have to deal with! If I cut him up, I do three damage. And then you'll move, and the next turn I can attack here and maybe kill. No, I'm gonna t I'm gonna take I'm gonna take two damage. <sighs> what do I get? Grizzly. Fuck. All right, I'm cutting it up. That's such a waste, though, man. But it's three damage. Like it's almost dead. I don't know if this is right to do. Do I want to lose a candle or do I want to lose scissors? I feel like scissors are really valuable. We're going to lose the candle when we get to the when we get to the boss anyway. I think I'd rather keep the scissors. I think I'd rather keep the scissors until I know I need them for sure. Do we want to put the frozen opossum down though? We could do that and throw it down and block a hit and maybe we can salvage this shit maybe where would we put it here let's do that frozen opossum can go here all right there we go all right and we can sacrifice we could put a grizzly down next turn actually all right let's go Okay. Get a squirrel? Or draw? <sighs> squirrel. Okay, we put squirrel down. Okay, witness dies when card bearing sigil perishes. The creature inside is just okay. It the sacrificing count is perishing, because if it does, I can get a free grizzly right now, and the grizzly, actually the gri the grizzly I can just put down here and it can do three damage. I think four damage. Let's find out. 
So if I take the squirrel, I put squirrel down, and I squirrel and squirrel, and I put grizzly down, and I go, no, what do you mean you can't draw blood from a fucking frozen possum? But Joe, there's a little kind of blanked out heart here that, that you should have known from that. It's true, I should have. All right, what, what to do here then? Bloodhound, I guess. Gotta, gotta put the bloodhound down. We'll put it here so it can attack the elk. Or block the elk. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're gonna do two damage. I'm gonna not kill that, unfortunately. Not gonna kill that. You're dead next turn. You're dead next turn. Okay, can we can we grizzly? Grizzly will do four. If we put if we put a thing down and then we we grizzly, grizzly will will what? Two damage and then grizzly grizzly here and grizzly will kill that and then next turn kill the next one. You're gonna push the tree out of the way. I don't know what the fuck that's gonna be like. I think we have to do that. So we so we grizzly. We grizzly from the opossum and the amalgam, and we kill that with the elk. I think that's the best play. All right, so we grizzly, and we grizzly like that, and then we put it here, and then that kills it, and I don't know what's gonna happen next turn. All right. Oh, you moved. Oh, okay, that's that's nice of you. Okay, cool. All right, nice. All right, so are we dead next turn? Three? You're dead. Three. And then you move. Okay. So once, once you do it, okay, we could risk getting something with, but let's do it. Rabbit pelt! Yes! All right. All right, we did it. All right. Bones. Shit. Bones. Yes! You have me here. I surrender. I don't get overkill, right? I don't get overkill if I take a surrender, so I shouldn't do it. Right? Counterpoint, what if I fuck? <laughs> oh man, all right, let's, let's, let's. Do let's do it, all right. So we want we want another we want another belt from the uh, amoeba. Let's do amoeba. All right, we're putting amoeba down. What do you get? What do you have? When a car? Oh, it does not perish. That's kind of cool. All right. So we're good. I think we just win now, right? Yay! What is that? Of blood on it. Turkey vulture, eight bones. All right. You know what? I feel like a turkey vulture is the best one here. Great white kind of shit. Moose buck kind of shit. We had a lot of bones. And having a, a turkey vulture with, with the thing that we have where we can search something from our deck if we need like a three damage from, from the bones that we build up, I think, I think we should take that. However... The turkey vulture is gonna suck to get in your first your first draw. I think it's worth it. What's this? I don't know what that is. I don't we don't need items. Let's what's this? 
Oh, it's it's the the lady with the totems. The decrepit wood carver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor despite her considerable age. All right, so we can add. Oh, we can add flying to to snakes. Okay, I I feel like I prefer the stinky actually. Flying. Wait, flying is going to 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 buff. Uh, amalgam and we don't have any other elks we have wolves though that's the wolf head isn't it we could put fly flying wolves and flying amalgam stinky's not that great we definitely want to put wolf head on oh 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 do we collect these and, and they last forever well this sucks Okay, well, I'm learning. You hunched down to place her offering in your, in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Okay, you know what? It's good to get the wolf head, though. That's good. Alright, it's boss time. It's time to lose. It's time to lose. The smoke. You took in the familiar sights and scents of the trapper's pelts, but something was different. The once friendly man now be beheld you with a steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Oh, he's polite about it. Thank you, Bone God. Amalgam is stinky. We didn't. We oh, he drew the child. Oh, that's a good one to, to get. All right, strange fro frog. All right, these turn into traps, do they not? Mighty leap. A card bearing this, or do, or do traps just move down? Big hunt showdown vibes. Okay, so I can't remember if they turn into traps or not. What we could do is we could place squirrel into child, then smoke, sacrifice smoke and child to play the amalgam right away. Put the amalgam down, stinkify the strange frog, doesn't do damage, we kill it, and then we have amalgam just hitting, hitting, hitting the whole time. Right? Gotta be. Got, that, that's gotta be a good play. That's That's gotta be a good opening. But I can't remember if, if the strange frogs turn into traps when they die. That would be pretty hard if that was the case. I'm doing it. Squirrel into child. And child goes... Child's gonna attack with flight. So we can put the child here. And then smoke. And then amalgam these two. Now child's angry. And then, oh, you know what? Maybe... Oh, I could have fucking just phased him right now. I could have done five fucking damage if I just put the... No, hold on. You block, don't you? Never mind, I couldn't have done it. Alright, never mind, never mind, never mind. Alright, what's gonna happen? Or, I could cut the card and phase him right now. Ooh! Hold on. Hold the phone! Hold the fucking phone! I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Fuck your card. Phase. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. This cannot continue. This. Let's trade. I don't want to. No, thank you. Wolf pelt. No, thank you. No. What the? Powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. What? What do you mean? Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Ooh. Can I have the grizzly? <laughs> Datapon wants the grizzly? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Uh, hold on one second. If no, you're you're getting blocked by the by the the flyer. Okay, never mind. Okay, if I, because I thought maybe I could just win if that was the case, and I can't, can I? All right, whose turn is it after this? But no, this horse will stay and fight for me. Okay. 
I mean, it's gotta be Grizzly, right? Grizzly does like like four damage to, to either side. It's gonna it's gonna wipe this out. Then it's gonna wipe that out. Then it's gonna die to the bat. Ah, oh, fucking hell! It's a fucking puzzle. All these do burrower when empty space would be struck a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead okay all right so whose turn is it i'm guessing it's my turn so i get to go all right do i get to play my own card too okay so let's say i take the grizzly i take the grizzly i move it down here then what happens is I attack here, then you attack here, you kill this, then Grizzly attacks here, you move over to take the hit, you hit that, and then if I get to play, and then and then you kill my Grizzly, and then you guys move up, and I get fucked. Am I wrong there? Or I could move the Grizzly down here. The Grizzly will attack here. The Grizzly, the grizzly attacking off the board doesn't do shit, right? That doesn't, that doesn't hit the boss, does it? Grizzly attacks here, kills that, does four damage to that. That's pretty good. You are a burrower. Empty space. Shit. Okay, well, I have to take the grizzly. I'm sorry chat, I'm sorry if this is a really obvious play, but I just, I don't even know what to, I don't even know if it's my turn after this, is the problem. I also don't know if, if, if you can attack off the board. If you can attack off the board, then that's really strong. I feel like if I get to play my, my Kingfisher and he attacks off the board, I feel like I can just, I can just kill him right now. Because the flyer will do will do um, one damage to him through that, and then the grizzly will do four damage, and I win. I don't know if he does attacks off the board. Okay, so I want I want the grizzly. All right, I would have chosen differently. Oh, I don't even get to play it. Oh fucking hell! <laughs> oh shit! I thought I just I thought I could just put it down. I don't even get to play it. Excuse me. Okay, do I draw? Do I draw or do I squirrel? Do I draw or do I squirrel? Do 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 Well, we're gonna find out if you attack off the board. I have child. If I if I sacrifice child right now, I don't get two damage into, into the coyote. I can cut up a card. What card do I want to cut up? I could cut the snapper, and then the snapper will do. Then I'll do three damage, and then that gets blocked. You're a borrower. Oh, if I could play the fucking, if I could play the grizzly. Fuck, if I could play the grizzly. Shit. Okay, is there any way I can play the grizzly without sacrificing Amalgam? I don't think so, no, right? 
can I sacrifice child to get the Kingfisher on the board? And then with with a with a and then sacrifice again to get him to hit? Oh shit, can I do that? Hold on. If I if I squirrel, right? If I squirrel and then I sacrifice um child to get Kingfisher on there. And then after that, sacrifice child, Kingfisher, and Squirrel to get the Grizzly on there. And then I cut up this thing, right? Won't it be, I do, th I, I cut up, I hit three, I kill the Coyote, Grizzly here, Grizzly hits here, you move over to, oh, but then you die from the Grizzly. Does that work? I feel like I, I feel like that's not gonna work for some reason. Would that work? I don't see why it wouldn't work. Can I sacrifice child more than once? But then Grizzly dies to the back. I shouldn't be reading chat, but but he's dead. Like that's enough damage, it's, it kills him. Cause Grizzly is four damage and Amalgam is three. So I've done seven damage to him. So that, that should kill him, right? Let's let's go let's go through this again. So if if I sacrifice child right now, right, I can play Kingfisher. That's one one blood for Kingfisher. Child goes inactive. I have Amalgam, Child, inactive, and Kingfisher on the board. I take a squirrel, and now I have one, two, three blood on here. I sacrifice all three, put the grizzly down here. Then, child comes back to life to be active and angry. I use the scissors to cut up River Snapper. Amalgam hits here for three. Child hits here, killing the coyote because it blocks air. Grizzly hits here, but this guy burrows over to take the hit, but he dies to three. And then Grizzly hits here for four, seven damage total, right? That, that's, that's gotta be it, right? That, that works, isn't it? Let's find out. All right, so I'm taking the squirrel. I sacrifice child to put the kingfisher here. Then I squirrel. And then I sacrifice these three to put the grizzly down. Then I cut up the card, the river snapper. Oh, you're going to move over here. But it doesn't matter because I do four hits with the Grizzly. I fucked up. All right, it's fine. It's fine. So you move here, you die, and then boom, boom, I win. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah. All right. That was good. Your lives are restored. Face to face, defeat the trapper and the traitor. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Pack rat. Or a bo oh, ho, 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 what? Excuse me? It oh okay. <laughs> what? Oh man, are you seeing this chat? We got a gek! You know how much I love a gek. Oh man. Top gek. All right, let's 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 take it. How can you not take that? With the enigmatic trapper and trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. We will need another map. Uh, what? Uh oh. All right, we don't, do we have any furs? We have a golden pelt. All right, uh, and we have a rabbit pelt. Okay, I don't know what to do. All right, all three of these are really good. We can sell our golden pelt and our rabbit pelt for more cards. However, we have a lot of fucking cards. We can smoosh or we can get three items. We have no items. So three, what if we get more scissors? Cause scissors are really good. As much as I want to smoosh, and as much as I want to, to sell our pelts, I feel like getting three items is the play here.
because the items are so powerful and it looks like we're gonna go into a boss right now I'm going items okay getting getting a fan oh, free squirrel oh no getting a fan on Ouroboros just wins that's just GG but getting a squirrel gets Ouroboros on the field sooner a squirrel is always useful. A fan isn't always all that great. Oh, own oh, squirrel. Scissors, scissors, scissors early, scissors often. We should have picked the fucking fan. We should have picked the fucking fan. Oh, all right. Another squirrel? Yeah, another squirrel. All right, what's this? Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light, a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails. What? Oh shit, I can move. Hi. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you'll be rewarded mightily. I cannot help you, traveler. My potions are too strong for you. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. Okay, we don't have one of those, so that's cool. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. I... Th uh, the trial of the find. The three... Uh, okay, well... I it's got to be rare, right? Like, I don't think we have one of those. Can I see my deck? No? Fuck me specifically? What's this? 11. 11. 11. 11. I don't think we have... We... we I don't think we have a Waterborne, right? I don't think we have a... a it's got rarity. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Believe in the heart of the cards. Penta chest. Penta chest. Let the trial of rarity begin. Is that it? Is that one? <gasps> yes! Ah, child 13 is a rare card. Success. Alright. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. What? The boon of goat's blood. You will start the battle with a black goat on the- Woo The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw- Whoa! Every time? That's insane. The boon of the bone lord. You will start a battle with eight bones. Alright. That's bonkers. That's insane. Eight bones? The value. Like, we can play so much stuff if we draw our bone cards. Alright, we gotta go with Magpie Eye, right? Like, the goat is really good for a good first turn. But you can only use it for one card to put it on the thing. It's, we, gotta, we gotta go this. We gotta go this. We will repeat that once more. What? What do you mean? Why do we repeat it once more? The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. Uh, trial of skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. The trial of the winged. Okay, don't don't we have a ring? Didn't we get the ring from uh, from the, the the fucking cuckoo clock? Is that what it means by ring? It's got to be right. Let the trial of the ring begin. Oh, you are wearing a fine ring. You pass, of course. 
Okay, thank you. Your choice of boons. Bo oh, Bone Lord! Alright, if we got them both, do we get 16 bones? Oh, we get Black black Goat on the board as well. Boon of the Ampidextrous. You may draw twice in the beginning. Oh, ho, 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 what? Do we get to choose both times? What? Dude. Dude, do we get to choose a squirrel and then draw a card? Let's go. Man, we're we're it's going to be so embarrassing when I fuck this up and die now. Holy shit. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. No, he's just a dude. You're taking a claim out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Chow to man. Ready to play. I hope you are adequately prepared. Perhaps one more to be safe. Whoa, how come you get to get three candles? Whoa. Oh, it's Mantis God. I remember you. Mole Man. Mighty Leap. Burrower. Amalgam. You have an amalgam too. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. I'm scared I'm gonna mess this up. Do I want to just put the grizzly down right away? Just like Squirrel squirrel smoke squirrel boom grizzly like I don't know what to do Do we want to get Ouroboros on? I think if we just if we just skip and then we just draw Ouroboros and then we just fucking win Don't we we just put the squirrel down GG or is he is he gonna like when he loses a candle? Does he like fuck you? I wiped the board because that would suck. No way Ouroboros comes back from from uh from, to, to life so even that, we're we're safe. Okay, what do we do then? Kind of want to put a grizzly down. Grizzly will if we if we put the grizzly here, he's gonna burrow over here and it's gonna block the amalgam for coming down for being developed. And then next turn oh no, next turn he's gonna block the uh, the um the Ouroboros. Oh shit. However, he's probably gonna play something next turn. We could put the Ouroboros down, Moleman comes over blocks, and then we kill Moleman and the thing behind him at the same time. Because it does over damage. If we put, oh, fuck, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, I also don't know. Like, do I get to draw a squirrel and a normal card? Cause, uh, cause that would be fun. I think we gotta play the grizzly. I think we take a squirrel and we play the grizzly. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's play the squirrel and get the grizzly on. Smoke. Squirrel. And let's put the grizzly down. And we're going to put the grizzly here to block. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Yeah. Oh no! You're going to... Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. So. I draw... Okay, I draw Ouroboros, right? Wait, do I do I draw this guy? And then I could put bones down, right? I can use bones to put this 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 character down. 
And then I get to draw again another card. And then I can get Orbaros from that, right? And then I can see, because I don't know if I'm al al allowed to draw a squirrel after this, right? So then I, I put this down, get Orbaros from this 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 pull, use my squirrel to, to get it to get it out, out, out on the table by sacrificing that and the squirrel afterwards. And then I get to see if my second draw can be a squirrel, right? Yeah, I'm doing that. All right, now, can I draw a squirrel? Oh, I can! Oh shit, that's so good! Holy fuck! Okay, so what am I doing then? Put Stinkbug down, drop the Ouroboros, this was just for an experiment, right? Drop the Ouroboros, and then get the squirrel, put the Ouroboros down, it hits this one, kills both of that, Grizzly Bear attacks. Actually, will Grizzly Bear kill it first? Grizzly Bear's gonna kill this, actually. And then our Ouroboros is just gonna hit and win. All right, I think that's what we do. All right, so we, we Stink Bug, let's take the Squirrel, and then we Stink Bug. We get Ouroboros. Okay, do we want to do we want to use our emergency squirrel and keep and keep stink bug on on the board? I think maybe we do want to do that. Maybe I'm wrong here. Actually, or we could just cut up this card and save or no. Let's get a horse on. It's fun. All right, so squirrel, squirrel early, squirrel often. Okay, and then we do this, and then we just play Ouroboros. And you hit that and kill it, then you attack and you attack. Alright, here we go. Okay, one. Excuse me. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kin kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. No! What? Who the fuck is Lewis? I remember that one fondly. All right. Well, Lewis is about to die, like, like, hardcore. Okay, do we just, like, two turns and we win? That's it? Is there anything we can do to get rid of this to get rid of this stun? Alright, let's see, what do we want? Oh, oh vulture! Vulture! Get a child on the board, and then we can just sacrifice a bunch of stuff, maybe? Child on the board sounds pretty good. Let's get a child on the board, and then we take a squirrel, and then we put squirrel down, and then we put child down. And there we go. All right. So Grizzly's gonna hit that for four, and then and hit Waffles card upon for for um for one, and then Stink Bug is gonna die, but that's fine. And then we can put something else down afterwards. Let's see what happens. No. What? What horse piss is this? Okay, so you only attack the squares. You can't attack the other thing. All right. Kind of got a little bit of gas going on right now, chat. Sorry. Okay, so I can put, I can put my 102, 102 health down in here. Or I could put my 1-1 one, one Mantis God down and kill Waffles card upon the traitor. Hmm, decisions. It's a tough one, isn't it? Draw a card. Oh fuck, I can't I can't even put it down because I don't have enough space to put my fucking squirrels down. Shit. I, I guess I am doing the Mantis Lord, the Mantis God one. Right? Do 
do I have uh, anything I can draw here that's going to be worth it? That's going to be good. Turkey vulture? That's no, not going to do it. A child? No. Whatever the fuck this is. Wolf? Kingfisher? Let's take you for now, and then let's just put Squirrel down, and we're going to sacrifice Squirrel to put Mantis God down. Alright, there you go. Oh, could I have sacrificed to put... No, you can't... Yeah, you can't draw blood from a gold nugget. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All stale, hard shoes. Alright, you can take you can take that, that's fine. And then next turn I can put Ouroboros down and then put another squirrel down, right? If I take a squirrel right now, I can get I can squirrel squirrel and then pass. I'm gonna take one damage. What do you, what do you do? When an opposing creature's place opposite of space, a card bearing situation puts an episode. Okay, that's fine. Alright, and then so then I put two I, I have two squirrels next turn. And then next turn I take another squirrel. And then I squirrel squirrel, put Ouroboros down, and then put another squirrel so I don't so he doesn't steal my Ouroboros. Right? Yeah, let's do that. Oh shit, did I fuck it up? One damage, one damage. Alright, maybe he's not gonna steal the next turn. Alright, draw a card. Right, squirrel. Let's draw a normal card. Vulture's not a bad thing to get right now if we get a free spot on the board. Vulture's gonna do three, but also block a hit, I think, right? Should we do Vulture? Let's get Vulture. Alright, so we're gonna put Squirrel. Squirrel. Ouroboros down. Where are we putting Ouroboros? Right here? I guess it doesn't matter. It's gonna block these two anyway. So we're gonna put Ouroboros here. And then we're gonna put Vulture here. And that blocks that hit. And also does three damage to the boss. Okay. It's because of no C. No. Okay, we just win right now, right? Like we we phase him. All right. What are, what are we taking then? Let's take some squirrels. We have two squirrels. Dude, let's take another card. What do you want to take? Poison seems like it might be worth it. Or a child? Let's take poison. Alright, so now we just now we just pass and we win. We phase him. Alright. Bring on the bears. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Now that is value. I mean, this still kills it, though, bro. <laughs> the Moon! Omni Strike! A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. It blocks flying. Tidal Lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Oof. What? Okay, I think I think I just win with Ouroboros, don't I? This music is reminding me of something. Is it a game or a TV show or something? I don't know. Is it dark? No, I feel like it's a show. I don't think it's a game. Alright, I'm taking Child. Alright, I think we just win, don't we? Ouroboros kills it. You really destroyed the moon. 
It was worth the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Do it. Do it. All right. Overkill time? Oh, you can run out of squirrels. Holy shit. Enduring victory. Defeat Leshy. Oh my. Did I just. I think I just beat him. Oh. Jonathan Blow? Was that a, a pooped cake? Oh, we're back in Hypnospace. All right. What? So you tricked me into playing her story. All right. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny, transcend dog! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Get your own bit. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay. And our first rare is a... <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't mean to stop. I thought it was pause it. That's pretty accurate. Just flipping through to get the rare. Like, who cares? Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Like, where, where's, where's the only card that we give a shit about? Okay. Hey there, card Can I skip ahead? I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack. This is the Lucky Pack. Oh, shit. I hit it again. This is the Lucky Pack opener. And our first rare is... A Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. See what we got here. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is Bam Dog. Not exactly riveting so far. It's a dog though. We're getting closer. Were there more cards in that pack than the other one? Next pack. Here we come. Just cut out this part. Okay. All right. Ooh. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Ooh. You would not believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this. Okay, did you get it from like a spooky old man that said the cards were cursed and you were like, ah, I don't care? This game. I'm barely old enough to All right. have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards and then stopped printing them. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so. Oh, I, I have a mantis god. Wait, what? The cards look weird. Really cool art on Definitely stands the test of time. And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. Alright. So Man, he's just in it for the money. Ah. Huh. Uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. How do you know? Come on, people, honestly. Who 
opens and reseals a pack. Well, they're all rare. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... That's where I live. I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> Look really nearby. Wait, are we morbing? Yo, what's up, YouTube? Here I am with the coordinates. About to dig a hole. All right, you guys. I'm out here. All right. Living my best life. What? Got my trusty headlamp. Yeah, there we go. And shovel. Always come prepared, kids. That's a nice shovel. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Skeleton. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive waste of Oh no. Uh oh. No, there's nothing there. Okay. All right. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> okay, where is this going? Alright. This is it. And now, we dig. Why would you just dig? I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. Repeating, of course. that oh my god you guys I can't believe it there's actually something here it's a skull <sighs> it's a whole box of inscription cards oh it's the game what Well, that's not going to work. Guys, are you seeing this? I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. Do I need to explain to some people in chat what that is? <laughs> <laughs> It's a save icon? Yeah, it's a save icon. It's a 3D printed save icon. Uh, thank you to uh, ShowerPisser007 for, for gifting out a gift sub. Thank you. Thank you to uh, Vicnick for the resub as well. Thank you, Triuan, for the bits. Oh my god, you were a content creator the whole time. What a terrifying twist. <laughs> Uh, thank you, It's Looking Grim, also for the resub. Thank you very much. Wow, 
great video. All right. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Are you gonna get Jumanjit? No, you move the camera. Okay. Inscription. Press any button to start. Alright, I'm pressing. I'm pressing. Wait, what kind of gamer doesn't check the options? Oh. Okay. Is, is there more? Do I, I back? Stop browsing footage. Alright, uh, are we done chat? Or... It doesn't seem like there's anything. Maybe there's some secret thing to click on, but I'm not seeing anything, so I don't want to know secrets, but I think we're done. Alright, that's interesting. Oh. This was a... This was a triumph. <laughs> what, what, what's this... I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Worthy, worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Uh, is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Very well. Stand right there. Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate. The fuck's that? Can I take it? <laughs> Sorry, so someone in chat said Aqua got norded. <laughs> Can we, can we take... <laughs> Alright, what, what the fuck is this? Is this dead... Are these the clothes or dead bodies? That looks like bodies. Where are all these people coming from? Alright, I guess this is the only thing to do in here. Although there's this weird thing back here. I don't know what the fuck that is. That looks like, um... Oh, uh, what the fuck's card? Alright, let's go. Okay, I can't see. I can't see shit. Alter deck? What's this? Eight time what's that? What's alter deck? Alright, I'm confused.
Okay. Is it too dark? Can I not see anything? Alright, there's a light. I don't see I can think I don't think I can click on anything. Alright, so we're in kind of like a T-shaped room. I can't move forward here. I can't move forward here. I can't move forward here. I can move forward here. I turn around and I see this. I turn around and I see that. Okay, I don't I don't know what to do. Am I supposed to quit? God, is my monitor that dirty or is it is that the screen? Quitting doesn't feel right. We just had like a big moment. Okay, I guess we do. There's, there's nothing else to do. What if I go to options? No. Oh, brightness. Let's turn brightness all the way up. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 Okay. Holy shit, no. Okay, I mean, it saved it. What? What the fuck is this? My Ouroboros! Renewal, start a new game. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. Oh, it's the, the skeleton globe thing. That is until the day the scribes arrived. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the ep epitaphs of the dead. Nito, Lord Leshy, used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. Poe used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. Uh, that, that escalated. And the furtive Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. What? No, I'm good. See ya. Bye. I'm not playing Pokemon. Okay, do I get to see what they are? Alright, so the, these are the, the the four people that we just saw. So that was... So... Zombies? Zombies, beasts, robots, and wizards? Let's go wizards. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the scribe of magics. Take the deck, leave it. Okay. Ambition is to replace Poe and become the scribe of technology. 
Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the scribe of beasts. Your ambition is to replace Grimoire and become the scribe of the dead. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Zombies sounds fun. Beasts, we, we just did a bunch. What's... Technology? Uh, I was leaning toward magic, but now tech sounds kind of fun. Should we wheel it? Wheel it? You know what? I, I originally wanted to go this. Let's go this. Alright. The cards were added to your collection. Okay, can I see them? Alter deck. Can't be sacrificed. While Emerald Mox is on the board, it provides a green gem. Oh no. Ah, uh, for fu- can I, can I choose a different one? If Mage People's owner controls no Mox cards, Mage People perishes. Ruby Mox can't be sacrificed. While Ruby Mox is on the board, it provides an orange gem to to it to its what? To its what? To its owner. Green gem to its owner. Can't be sacrificed. While Sapphire Mox is on the board, it provides a blue gem to its owner. Junior Sage. Mage Knight. If Mage Knight's owner controls no Mox cards, Mage Knight perishes. When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. <laughs> That's where we were, right? Two equals three. No, I don't think it does. No. No fish, no pass. Govlen wheel. Dag Nabbit, that dang hound got herself lost again. If you think you're getting past, think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. Oh! Oh, we got a Mantis God! Oh, is that the shiny one? Is that the one that's worth a crazy amount? We got a Mantis God! Let's sell it! Mantis God, Wolf Cub, Practice Wizard, Ghost Ship, Waterborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Ghost Ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its old place. That sounds like fun. When Cat is sacrificed, it does not perish. It does not perish. Cards were added to your collection. Alright, cool. Thank you. Two, three, and then just something else. Nope. What in the Star Tropics is this? You know what? There's only a hundred. There's only nine, 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 nine. Uh, well, it's a little more than that, but you know, we we could probably guess this, right? We could guess this. Oh, it's the same. Oh shit, what was the code? I don't remember what the code was. Where did we get the code? It was written in the book. We opened the book. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna remember what it is. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna remember what it is. All right. What does that do? Burrow.
got a pack. A beastly card pack. All right. Mole Man. Thick Droid. Practice Wizard. Warren. Bullfrog. Bullfrog's kind of bad. Another one. Oh, you or Yuli's finally on the, on the team! Raven, Sentry Drone. When a creature moves into the space opposing Sentry Drone, they are dealt one damage. Thick Droid. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I use to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates... The prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. You hard of hearing? Get, get me some proof she's alright. Maybe get, get her some food? I think? I think that might have left some in that dang cabin. Alright. There was a room in there we didn't look, in, look into. Alright, what is... What was... I can't remember the code. I, I straight up cannot remember the code. I hope it's not important. You wish to trade? You don't perchance have any pelts? No? That is disappointing, but I also accept foils. Oh. Wait, that's our Ouroboros. Joe's worst bits. What bit? What are you talking about? How do I get that? How do I get foils? Alright, I need foils. Where do I get foils from? Can I see the book again? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, it's a seven. Oh shit, that. Honest to God, I don't see that very well. Straight up, like, like seriously, I don't see that very well. I don't expect many people to be with me on this, but does, did, did anyone else immediately just like hone on this looking like an equal sign instead of another number? Anybody else? Or is it just me? Yeah, a couple people. I'm not expecting many people to do it. Like, I thought this was kind of like a smear because there's some other smears around. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. There's a faint odor where the meat was supposed to- Oh man, it's it's main quest stuff too. Holy shit. Thank you to Dalmec for gifting a sub to <laughs> Sink Pissing Connoisseur. Thank you, Dalmec. Thank you, uh Nep Dimension Tripper also for the resub. Thank you, Drusta, for gifting out five subs. Thank you, Rod Drusta. And thank you, Clicksta, also for the resub. Thank you, thank you. Dag Nebit. V Cener, my hound. A good meal always gets her out. I... Oh, let's put it over here.
That's going in my cringe collection. Here you go. Well, I'll be darned. That's my girl. I'll let you pass me and into yonder pond. But dag nabbit, first we gotta battle. Okay, well, darn it all. Your deck ain't right. Get get ye at least 20 cards in it. Tab. Uh, okay, D do we play like we played before? What do we do? Moment. Okay, we definitely want the the mantis. Go I don't I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's like I don't. What 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 the fuck does like like magic mean or anything? Will this give me a pretty good deck? Whoa! What was that? Okay, that's what Stoat was. All right, is it different every time, Junior Sage? No. All right, fuck it. Let's try. Yeehaw, we fixed it. Now let's battle. Oh. Greetings. My consciousness has been summoned, it seems. But for what purpose? Wish I could read. Ah, you have selected my starter deck and require a short lesson. You see, magical cards are powered by mocks, though some refer to them as gems. If you have one of these mocks on the board, you may play cards with that cost. Start by playing one. Rube emerald because you're emerald emerald mocks you see now you may play magical cards of that gem's color it is quite simple really i cannot comprehend how my students sometimes struggle but i've digressed carry on i await you atop my tower o okay what what's this what's this When blue mage is played, you draw cards equal amount uh, to the mox cards on your your side of the board. All right, let's put a mox down. Can I put? Can I stack mox on mox? I can't. All right, you don't have any blue gems to play. Okay, well we're, we're screwed then, aren't we? All right, cool. All right, it's going so horribly. Bloodhounds. All right. When a creature moves into the space opposing sentry drone, they are dealt one death. Okay, so this powers... Oh, shit. Oh, man. It's like fucking playing four Hearthstone classes at once? Oh, fuck. With bones, too? That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, so when it moves, alright, so it's gonna deal one damage. Free shot, cool, alright. Alright, it's not it's not going well for us, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not going well. Okay, did I pick the worst one? This sucks. Wolf Cub transcends into a higher form. I'd let you buy for the kindness you showed my hound, but rules is rules. Alright, do I get get- Okay, you know what? Can I get more- If I go to the other places, can I get more cards? You're here, marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced, though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Alright, I would like some cards, please. Can I have some cards? You found a piece of an epitaph. It reads, does not hold a grudge. That's not true, everyone holds a grudge. Does not hold a grudge. You sifted through the bones and found a card. Yes, card pack. All right. All right, we got 
Headless Horseman. It, it costs something. Bones? Airborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direction inscribed in, in the sigil. Oh, that's 5-5. Five, five. That's pretty good. That's a lot of bones. Broken Obol. When Broken Obol dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Factory Conduit. Empty spaces within a circuit completed by Factory Conduit spawn Leap Bots at the end of the owner's turn. When Explode Bot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 to- Okay, this is- this is so overwhelming. Oh my god, what the f The cards were added to your collection. There's just so much shit all at once. Hello, zombie. Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. I don't- I don't want to I don't have any blood. How do I get blood? Okay, autocomplete really screwed me up. Can I, I, I would like to unsubscribe to this this fight. I would like to go. Can I just go, please? No, okay. Green. Oh dear, does this mean you'll try again? Okay, it looks like we're gonna fight you. What if what if I like get rid of my deck? Should just hit tab. Alright, now you won't fight me, right? Oh no, you're back. Please let's be swift. Oh, something's wrong. It's your deck, or rather your lack of a valid one. You've got 20 cards in it, right? Yes, now we can talk to people safely. Hark, a living slice a lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. You, if you think you will squeeze a defeat out of me? Ah, oh, something you be wrong. Your deck ain't right. Return when you got 20 cards in it. Alright, seems like everyone we're talking to here is gonna fight us. So let's go see if we can find some more cards over here. You wish to trade? Bone Heap. Alright, where do we get these things from? Is it from beating people? I want our Ouroboros, please. from the stem. Waterborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Simon will move in the direction described in the sigil. Okay, that looks shit. Pick another one, please? No. Okay. Woof, I was just about to call it quits out here, but now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in full disclosure. It'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. So, uh, come back later. Well, that's convenient. Alright. Okay, so that's all the cards we're getting. Um, I guess we make our own deck. Do you still get bones when something dies? No matter what? Th this this sucks. Like, this actually straight up sucks. <laughs> like, this, this is a lot of finicky bullshit for just not very good cards. <laughs> it's just like... Like, what the, what the hell? Um, I don't know what to do. Alright, Explode Bot. When Explode Bot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly... Okay, can we just go with the beast ones? Because that's the devil I know. Um, can I... Like, I have a cat. So we take a cat. We need 20. Shit. Uh, then get... 
Mantis? Uh, no? Let's let's put a headless horseman in just for fun, uh, and a and a broken. Oh no, that's wait. Hold on. It costs three bones to get four bones. That's not very good. Waterborn, uh, mummy lord. Oh, what about the mummy? Why is it five energy just for a one three? Okay, what if I just I just put all of the blood cards in? All right, th that's still not enough. All of the robot ones in? They're not gonna drop bones. Oh, man, we have to take a mage card. Why did I pick this? All right, you know what? Let's put it in, and we just- it's free bones! We just put them down, and we get free bones. All right, we're done. Hello? Yeah, hi, I'd like to fight now. I'm ready. I have time to do 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 All right, here we go. Oh, we need- we need blood to get blood! All right, this- this one. All right, now sacrifice. Yes! All right, here we go. All right, we got it. We did it. All right, we have a bone. All right, cool. All right, we need five energy for this. Inexplicably five energy. All right, let's pass. All right, it's, it's not going well. It's not going well. Um. What does this do? Oh, that that removes a card if we want to remove a card. Oh, okay. Oh, we got oh we got bones. Okay, I'd like to quit. Yeah, I, I'm quitting. Yeah, I quit. Okay, maybe we just need to we need to just get maybe we just drew unluckily with this. <sighs> Fuck it, auto complete. All right, this gets us sentry drones. Broken obol with some with some shit. Maybe maybe I, I I mix blood stuff with the mages and I can sacrifice the mages to get blood because these these I can can I sacrifice these? Oh, can't be sacrificed, but these can be right. So the 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 mages I can put down, I can do that. Um, so let's let's trash it. Let's let's take all the beasts that we want. Mantis Lord. Um, your Yuli, obviously, wolf cub, cat, and then, and then let's take, like, I don't know, like, okay, you know what, the one energy, this thing is actually pretty good. When Explobot dies, the creature opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly damage creatures, are dealt 10 damage. That doesn't seem... That seems good situationally. Alright, so what do we want to take? Do we, do we only want to take blue shit? And then we can get a bunch of blue? Okay. When blue mages play, do you draw cards equal to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board? So, so, one one is what we're going to do all right it seems like we just take green green mocks and green mages and then we take mage pupils because they they can they can go with any uh anyone if a mage its owner controls the, and then we take orange and we take these all right is that good let's go What's, what's this? Lamayo got him?
I don't know what that does. What does that mean? All right. Oh, it just means uh, the thing on the bottom. Okay, uh, like this. This is um, it's it's not going well. It's not going well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's time. Yes. All right. Here we go. We got a 3-2. It's happening. Let's use our, our mocks to block. Alright, we're blocking with mocks. Alright, one more. We win. We win. We've done it. We've won. We haven't. We have, no, we have not won. It's the opposite of, of what's happened. No. Mage. No, it, it perishes. Okay. We don't have any. All right, let's let's just skip. All right, we got it. Come on, give us something good. No, no, we we. Uh, okay, it's a stalemate right now. All right, let's just keep going. Green. I don't. I don't have any mocks. Well, I'm having fun. Yay! All right, what do we do? All right, we put Mox, but then it's gonna die. Like next turn, it's gonna die. I can't do shit. Do I delete the cat? You know what? Just fuck it. Let's just keep going. Who cares? What else is gonna happen? All right. Oh, Mantis Lord. Mantis Lord. Hold on. Hold on. That card. My Joe in Christ, you chose the card. You're chattered! I, I'm working with what I got! I'm fucking Tony Starkin' up in this fucking cave with a box of fucking scraps, except I don't have the fucking degree! What the, what the fuck are you talking to expecting me to fucking do? Look what! You are playing hard. What do you mean I'm playing horribly? I, I can't put my fucking cards down! Alright, if I put... <laughs> If I put this here, I get to do two damage, one damage to each of them, and then one damage to him, and then I'm a damage ahead. All right. All right, here we go. There we go. Yeah. You've had lethal for ten turns. Is is there a lethal button I'm missing? All right, let's just let's just block. All right, we're blocking, and then I win. All right, good. Finally. Uh oh. Should I have done the most? Can I fight him again for more foils? Fair is fair. If you beat me like a dog, take this. Some say that these here cards are better in gold. Alright, we got a pack. Alright, rare. Mole man. Mole. When an empty space would be struck, Mole will move to that space to shoot the circuit instead. Raven's pretty good. Muscle Mage. At the end of the owner's turn, Muscle Mage will move in the direction inscribed in the, in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pu pushed in the same direction. Alright. In Insect Odrone will strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Alright, so it flies. Can I fight you again? I don't want to, but like if I... The way... You to yonder pond is clear. Oh no. So I just lost some foil forever. Well, that sucks.
Yeah, sure. Greetings, fish, fresh fish, good. Still must be. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, so we do we do this? Is this just a mulligan at the beginning of the of of the round or uh, of the fight or can I do this every round or once uh, per fight? Let's see. Let's see. So I can I can put green down. Okay, can I put can I put him down too? You're taking up the green, right? But that's just if there's no mox cards. I think my understanding of this right now is I can play all three of these. Let's see. Okay, do I want... I don't think I want to... Hit you. Let's go here. Yeah, okay, I was right. Alright, cool. Do I want to block with the orange? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, and the the green went away. So clover is only good for um for the first uh, beginning of the fight. Awesome. Yay! All right, your Yuli has to go. Okay, I can put mage peoples down and do two damage I can also block a bunch of shit right now hmm 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 let's do it I'm doing it two damage and then they're gonna die next turn here we go I should have put them there instead all right you know what give me the bones Give me the bones. All right. Let's let's block some more. All right. Thanks for fish, but no no pass until beat. All right. I don't know what to do. Can I restart and pick a different deck? All right. What what possible like? Okay. Do I have a? Can I spend my foil on a better card? Okay, Squirrel is worth one, but I think I want to save up for my Ouroboros, but getting a Squirrel means we, means we can get like the blood thing going a little bit more, right? I don't think that's worth it though. Maybe we can, maybe we can make a, a good, a good deck. All right. If you make a full mage deck and play smart, you will be fine. Will I? Because I feel like I just don't have enough damage. Like, they're all shitty cards. Like, I'm going up against, like, two twos and three twos and shit. And, like, there's no there's no real good damage dealers here. Like, Practice Wizard, is, is, it just fucking blocks. It doesn't even do any fucking damage. This is drawing more cards, but you don't get anything for it. This does one damage. I'd rather have some some of the blood cards.
getting a sen getting sentry drones down do i have enough to do like like full because you can sacrifice these things for blood if i if i put all these in can do i have enough to fill a deck oh 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 you can go you can go over 20. okay huh Huh. Is it worth it to take like one and, and some of the mage peoples though, so you can put those down and sack them? Chat, I don't, I don't doubt that this this w could get good, but right now, maybe I'm just getting draw fucked. I don't know. Like right now, I feel like I don't like I'm just throwing cards out to die to the opponents, and it's just not going well. It's like the, the, the cards are just too weak. Do I want a thick droid? It is pretty thick. Do I want to get rid of your Yuli? Your Yuli, I need like four things on the board for your Yuli, I think. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's, uh, fuck it, let's just try it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we can put we can put the sentry drone down. When a creature moves into an, into the, the space opposing sentry drone, they are dealt one damage. All right, we can put sentry drone down, and it can hit the fish and then die. That sounds pretty good. Or we can clover and hope that we get some other card that can't play that we can't play. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Let's see. I mean, we can keep trying over and over and over again, so that's not bad. If we, if we wait three turns, we can put these down, and then we can, uh... When Explode Bot dies, the creature opposing it, or die, it, does that include sacrificing? Can I sacrifice it and then it dies? I could, I could wait until turn three and then put these two down. And then it blows up, kills something, and then we get to put our bird down. Would that work? Let's try it. Fuck it. Eight bones. Oh, it's not gonna fucking help. It's not gonna work. Maybe it will, actually. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll still take damage. Alright, so we're putting you down, and then we're putting you down. And then we're gonna sacrifice you and you. Explode about that Nate's adjacent creatures are killed in the blast. Yes! Alright, and then we put the bird down. Yes! Alright. Shit. Actually, you know what? This is okay. He's gonna come down and we're gonna hit him. Right? Right? No? No, that's not that's not what's gonna happen. Alright. Wait, energy comes back? three damage oh so it is it's like exactly like mana crystals from hearthstone that's interesting all right um do i want to sack this thing so i can put mantis lord down and hit th for three do i win three i do yeah Beat, you pass, first take. Beastly card pack. Alright. Proc call, waterborne. Also, when Proc call is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Oh, synergy! Double gunner. Double gunner will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Alright, that's good. Squirrel ball. At the end of the owner's turn, squirrel ball will move in the direction inscribed. Okay, so, so it moves. Alright. Mole. Mage people. Alright, that's fun.
Patches of dried blood crack crackled as you pried the chest open, but two packs were inside. Oh, two packs for sure. All right, another Mantis God, another Double Gunner, Sarcophagus, grow more powerful uh, after a turn. All right, four blood. Is it gonna turn into a mummy? Field Mice, when Field Mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Oh, that's interesting. Infinite value. Mole Man, Salmon, okay. So in each pack you get three of the cards that are from that pack and then two from, from a different uh, species. Okay. Uh oh. Well this isn't going to be very nice. Thank you, Chaotic Despair for, for the resub. Thank you, Casper gets a marble for the resub. Did you see the marble event earlier, Casper? Thank you, Eating Those Beans for the resub. Ah, uh, good memories. Thank you, Co Kobali for the resub as well. Kobali, Kobali. And thank you, Pero Plays or Perot Plays also for the resub. All right, is that what you wanted? Poor hair, take that photo to the trader. She is to your right. Okay. You have brought a pelt. I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. I smell the hair's blood on you. Oh, oh. I should have put more shit in our deck. Hmm. All right, sentry drone. Borrowing can't be sacrificed when an enemy empty space would be struck barring trap in the death space receive the strike also when barring trap perishes creature posing it perishes as well a pelt is created in your hand okay um i mean getting the cat on the board isn't the worst idea right now right that's gonna kill us is the cat gonna be left alone Get the cat on the board. Okay. Alright, so that will block for a little bit. And then we can get three energy. Uh let's put it here. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, let's play a Warren. And do we want to put... Oh, we have lots of rabbits. Maybe we can get our mummy lord from all the bones that we're going to get. Ghost ship. Ah, uh, close. Can we sacrifice this and get a ghost ship? That can kill that. No, it's going to fly. Shit. Um... I mean, what else is there to do? Yeah, let's, let's go. Okay. Empty spaces within a circuit completed by factory conduit spawn leap bots at the end of the owner's turn. Alright, so... You need to put two of these together. Like, one here, one here, and then the two will, will fill. Is that it? That's my that's my understanding of that. Do I even have two of those? I don't think I do. All right, we have four. 
bones at the end of the owner's turn ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed all right what what's a skeleton how strong is a skeleton i, I mean i guess we're gonna find out because we're gonna die okay after attacking skeleton perishes oh that sucks rip Let me attack with a skeleton. Let me attack. Oh, a thick droid. Thick droid's going to be able to take a hit and hit back. You know what? I'm starting to believe. Okay, we just, we just wait now. You're going to kill that. You're going to die maybe i don't know you're gonna hit us for one or oh, are we done shit uh-oh should we sacrifice the the skeleton because this is gonna drop down we're gonna hit for one and we're gonna lose right so we have to sacrifice the skeleton i think i don't know if that's correct I think that's all we, we can do. Alright, that was the right play, I think. Alright, bird is gonna come down after that dies. We can block with uh with this thing here. That's gonna die, that's gonna hit. Okay, I, there's nothing else to do here. Let's just keep going. Barring trap shut. Get dead. Oh no, you're gonna Fuck. Oh okay. Well that was better come closer you'll make a fine pelt all right should we change our deck around a little bit do we want to put some of our new cards in mantis is really good this waterborne thing giving us a um giving us a, a an energy cell is really good too all right the squirrel ball is, is pretty bad um salmon's pretty good mummy lord broken droid broken oval four bones that's not bad we're getting more bones than we put in um what's bad in our our thing right now if we had gotten Yuri Yuli there, we could have been able to play him because we had four. I don't think we have another factory conduit to put down. Sentry drone is good to get it to get blood going, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I don't really understand all this well. We can put a wolf cub down. Field mice. Field mice is pretty good. Infinite value. Two 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 two. Explode bot is pretty fun. Okay, mole man seems kind of shit. It does buy you time, though. I don't like Warren at all. Ghost ship was... Eh. I'm getting rid of ghost ship. Alright, and let's take uh, field mice. And let's take the wolf cub. Alright, there you go. Hello, Mr. Anderson. I doubt you'll see this, but I love your content. You're my favorite content creator by far. Oh, thank you. But did you see the content creator that's in this game, though? It's pretty meta. All right, we can put this down. All right, we'll put this down, sack it, get the blood down, and then we get this guy, and then we get a fresh battery, and we're ahead on the battery game. Ooh, I like it. Delightfully devilish. What, the, what what's this oh that's the trap okay oh headless horseman where were you la oh we didn't even have 13 bones never mind uh yeah this isn't going well this time last time went better This sucks. Okay. 
And it's over, GG. Okay, so bad luck or bad deck? Both? Let's try again. Okay, Mole Man at the beginning is not bad, actually. We get to block some hits with Mole Man while we wait for our, our battery to come up. And I think we should definitely um, sack this guy to get the Mole Man out. So let's do that. And we sack him to get the Mole Man out. There we go. Alright. Shit. Okay. Not, not, not what we want. Not the position we want to be in. Not gonna lie. Okay, we can play this, which will kill that. And then next turn, we can sack it to get blood going. Maybe. Let's do it. You're gonna kill that. It flies. <sighs> it flies. They fly now. They fly now, sorry. Alright, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like it. Alright. I feel like we need to have st stronger openings all the time. So... We either need to find a way to... So the game's a lot different now. So we need to find a way to hold and then build tall. It's a little... It's kind of more like Hearthstone now. So we need to, to decide are we going to try and rush or are we going to try and like hold and then put some, some, some big dick cards down. So I don't think we... Do we have the potential to hold or not? I don't know. Getting blood is difficult. We're using the other shit to get, to get blood right now. Like, using these to get blood is not the worst thing in the world. This just seems like a lost cause. God, this is such a bad decision. Such a bad decision. Okay, if we were to go try to go early, what would we go? We would go low-cost robots to sacrifice them. Um... And then we would go that to, to, to get energy, that for, for like one blood, this to hold, this to hold, this for more blood, this to hold. Uh, no, I don't think so. What are we at? Hair, one blood's pretty good for, for, for two, whatever. For the two, what it becomes salmon for two. All right, so now what are the last six cards that we want to do? Do you want to go some bones? Because, like, getting some value from the bones is not the worst thing in the world. Ghost ship? No. Four? Maybe just a sarcophagus and it builds and it becomes a mummy? Maybe? Just throw one in just to have some bones? And then what? So we have five more cards. Do we want more... Do we want some thick droids? You know what? Double gunner is not the worst thing in the world. It's expensive, but are we going to get... Ah, this isn't really good. Fuck it, I'm putting it in. Alright, so what do we want? We don't want Yuri Yuli. Do we want a raven or a salmon? Or an elk? Elk is four and it's two. Let's do that. Field mice? He will never read the squirrel ball? What do you mean? At the end of the owner's turn, squirrel ball will move in the direction described in the signal and drop a squirrel in their old. Oh, it it dropped. Sorry, when I when I saw it, I thought it was just um. It just moved. All right, let's put a squirrel ball in. All right, we have a squirrel ball. All right, let's see how this goes better. Should I go for corpocracy? Corpo. I'm building my first world collider, and technocracy is kind of falling off. Oh yeah, you should have got off the of technocracy a while ago, I think. Um, go Federation if it's your first time. Unify and go Federation. That's that's my uh, suggestion suggestion to you. Okay. I feel like I feel like the 
we robot. Can we robot and then squirrel? And then the squirrel's gonna leave a squirrel. No, that's not gonna do it. All right, do we robot and then mantis and then do three damage right off the bat? Or do we robot squirrel, put the squirrel, is it gonna move all the way to the right or just one to the right? Because if it moves one to the right, next turn we can sacrifice this and the squirrel that, it, that we get from it and put these two down, right? That seems pretty good. I think that's what we do. So we, we go here and then we sack it and we put it here. And then it's gonna move one and we can we have options next to, okay cool squirrel walls moves to the news place all right so now we can put both of these down if we wanted to which i think we should probably do right or do we want the squirrel okay the squirrel's gonna move and leave a squirrel behind again and then it's just gonna die so it's like do we want two energy now or do we want two energy next turn right or one energy now one energy next turn so i think we should just do it we should just put them both down. Mantis here is going to kill that next turn too. So that seems pretty good. Let's do it. So you're going to go here. And you're going to go here. Alright, that seems pretty good. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, it blocks the, where it gets attacked. Well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. That's a waste then, shit. Okay, so you're gonna attack here, you're gonna block, then you're gonna die, and then you're going to attack, boom, 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 do three. Then you're gonna move down, you're gonna move down, you're gonna kill my man. Oh, this didn't go well. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, well. No, it didn't go well. There was a smart play there. Too smart for me, I didn't see it. Okay, we can get a mole down. And then we can explode this next turn and get something else on the field. Hmm. Okay, what do we want to do? Do we just want to wait? Honestly, waiting next turn to put this down. And then we don't have to fuck around with any of this shit to blow up the trap. And then we put this down afterwards is not, not the worst thing, I think. Put this down. And then we can get that down. But that's going to move the trap in front of it. And it's going to die. So I think we should probably just wait. And put this down next turn. Destroy that. And then put this down afterwards with the blood that we get from it. And then it turns into a three whatever. And just hope for the best. Right, let's do that. Oh we get, oh, we get a, an energy cell from this now too. That's good. Alright we definitely want to destroy that right? Because then it's not, because it's going to kill something anyway. Right, so let's do that. And then, do we want, we probably want to do this, because then we get a battery, and then we can sacrifice that and get something else too. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. Alright, here. And then here. And then we sacrifice that. Put there. Alright, so now we're doing two damage. And the next turn we're going to be doing even more damage. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have anything we can do with this right now. So let's just do three and then one. You're going to come down, hit that, but then we're going to kill you next turn. Alright, so it's going okay. Still, we still can't play this the shit. So go and go. I think we're still fine, right? We're gonna lose damage here, but next turn we're gonna be doing three here again. So that's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, we do four damage. So we're not gonna win right now, but this is gonna die. 
Uh... Next turn, do we want to sacrifice this to get the squirrel going? And then with the squirrel, we can put the field mice out, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, dead. Okay. What do we get? Nice. Alright, so that can can kill that, but then it'll die to that. Okay, I think maybe we want to we want to sacrifice that so this goes here, kills those two, and then when we sacrifice that we put um do we want to put the squirrel here and moves over? No. What do we want to do? The mole? Probably the mole, right? I think we want the mole. Yeah, definitely the mole, I think. Okay, so sacrifice that to put the mole down, and the mole can go here, and then put that down, and then boom boom, clears the board, and let's see if we can get some overkill for foil, so we can go get our Ouroboros. I think that's probably the best play here. Mole man, for sure. Alright, that's pretty good. Boom boom. Okay, so it's 2-3. So right now we're gonna do 1-2 damage. So can we can we get higher? You're gonna do 2 damage back, so right now the board is even. This kind of sucks. We just need to wait and get something better. Why am I being question marked? What? Oh, it's two. Sorry, I thought it was one damage. I thought it was a mantis lord in my head. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, it's 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 a win. So is it better to get? We can can we get more damage by sacrificing the guy that we have? I don't think we can. There's no way to get more than that. Why, why can't people just say you misread you misunderstood that's a two and uh, you think it's the one instead of a two why does it have to be passive aggressive question mark land why can't we just be like oh he's just making a stupid little mistake the trap is shut yet the prey escapes and the trapper waits for the next victim Lushy awaits. Alright, we got another rare steam bot. 2-2 two, two for 6 energy? What? That's kinda that's kinda shit. Another wolf cub cub is good. Cards are added to your collection. Alright, how many foil do we have? Three! Alright, we need five more to get our Ouroboros back. I don't think getting the other shit. Oh, Stoats here. Ooh. Squirrel. Squirrel would be really good, actually. We get banned if we backseat. Why aren't you getting banned for a bunch of question marks then? <laughs> Don't, don't ban people for a bunch of question marks, okay? It's fine. Alright, do we want to change the deck? I think that we do. You know what? Let's just go and see if we can beat Lushy. You 
had bested the unhinged prospector, the, the gormless angler, and the enigmatic trapper, you found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Do, 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 do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise, and my beasts are famished. How, how come you get to start with shit on the board? What? What, what horse piss is this? All right, so, okay, robot down, sacrifice, mantis lord, boom, two damage, kills the shit. You're not gonna get a better move than that. You're not gonna get a better move than that. There's no way that you're getting a better move, uh, move than that, right? However, what if, what if we do squirrel instead? What if we do squirrel instead? When a creature moves into the space opposing the central drone, they're dealt one damage. You know, you know what? It has to be that. It has to be that. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Boom. Mole. Alright. The music. It's Witcher music. This isn't fair. Okay, it's, it's actually going kind of well. won't be needing those. I have something better. Hmm. We never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. Wait, what? Does he know? I hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks. Amalgam. 1-1 one, one blood. Okay, do I just play it or what? Do I just win? I think I just win, don't I? No, you're gonna block. Shit. He's a grizzly. Oh no, it's a grizzly situation. Oh. Maybe we win if we put the second, the second gunner down? How much damage is that? If we put the second gunner down here, it's gonna do two four six and then we do one two three and then you come down hit us and then next turn i think we win maybe Ooh, fuck it no oh no we don't win we don't win at all no we do win The great scry was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Yay! Complete the Temple of Beasts. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me, uh, beggar's belief. But now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. You received a beastly card pack. Yay. Oh, another hork call. Oh, nice. Oh, and an elk fawn. An energy bot. When energy bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. All right, that's good. Two energy for one energy. All right, we're ramp robot. Oh, another one. Oh, another whore call! This is just the same pack again. Hawk. Bone Hound. Stop. Battery lit. What is that? I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. 
Flowey, and it's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face, because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Lamoyo got him? I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Sorry, beast was defeated. Alright. Did I get some foil for that? Because I want to get my Ouroboros. Nope. No, so no foil? Alright. Alright, what are we adding to, to, the, to the deck? We definitely want to put these two in because it's just, it's just free energy. Actually, do we? Do we want to put it in? Mole Man seems pretty good. These seem seem bad actually. I don't. I'm not a fan of these. Unless can it can it make you go over the max? If it can make you go over the max, then they're really good. But I think maybe we can see this instead. Alright, let's get rid of the uh, elk. No. Explode bot. Explode bot's actually pretty good. I kind of like what we're rolling with at the moment. There's nothing really good to, to replace it with right now. I wish you had more blood generation, but apart from that, eh, whatever. Let's just go see what happens when we go inside. Woof, you probably saw that the bridge is fixed. Now they want me to give you deck building tips. Like, use your rare cards. They are more powerful than common cards, but I am sure I am sick of being around these scribes. Each has a more twisted ambition than the last, I tell ya. Leshy, the guy's insane, wants to use challenges like you as his playthings. To make it more perverse, he thinks you'll actually enjoy it. Oh yeah, try to use a mix of different types of cards in your deck to fully utilize your bones, blood, and energy. Woof. Poe, that bot is planning something, all right? It's got the dredger working overtime, huh? Oh, many cards from other temples are better sacrifice fodder than squirrels. For example, bone heaps can be sacrificed early but have utility in the late game. Grimora wants to bring it all down, I swear, but more is a merc mercy, I think. She's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on this disc. Ahem, whoa. Ahem. a deck focused on magical cards can be very powerful. Can it? Try picking two of your best gem colors instead of going for all three. Cards with I, I tried that and it didn't work. Cards with activated abilities are some of the most powerful. Balance your resources accordingly. What? You want to know about Magnificus? Mysterious guy. We all have our theories, of course. Some say he actually wants... No, it's too terrible to say. Woof. 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 Sometime I try this spot. Find good fish. Corrupted fish. Old fish. Boat, scribe only. In case bad happen. Backup plan, let's you say. I catch old fish last time. Good fish. Beat dredger. Beat goo. Beat Casey. Good fish. Let's you trust. I not disappoint. Let's you trust. I not disappoint. I, w I would like some old fish, please. How do I get old fish? Can I go here and get old fish? Alright, this is kind of cool, but I think that the, um, the first part of the game was way more interesting than what this is right now, but maybe I just, like, am completely dog shit, and that's, it's making it take too long. Okay, if we go here, can we get some, some packs with the magic cards? The note reads, Greetings! If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. <laughs> Sincerely, Magnificus. 
All right. Okay. We go down, and then we go down, and then we go down again. Brilliant. All right, there's not that many. Wing. Nope. 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 What one did we start on? How's it going, chat? Thank you. Uh, I Days is here for the resub. Thank you very much. I Days is here. Thank you, uh, Julia Whites, for the resub as well. Thank you very much. And that's all she wrote for now. Thank you very much. It's hot outside. It was really cold here this morning. I'm surprised because it's August still, you know? I think it's 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 fish that we started with, right? I'm doing good, Joe. This is also what I did this part. <laughs> Does it work? It doesn't. Whoa! What's with what's with the negativity going on in chat? Will you ever release the Sakura vid? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like I said what I wanted to say about Sakura in the Elden Ring video as as a kind of like a. Uh, as a little aside. I don't know. How many times should I mad before progressing more? And when should I start spending plasmid? Uh, it depends on how you want to play. If you want to play with four stars, then... Oh, we did it! Alright. Arg, the pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. If you want to play four stars, then you should, you should mad until you can get a lot of the crafting, or, or sorry, all of the crafting plasmid upgrades. So your, your crafters, when you have, when you're doing four stars, actually produce a, a decent amount of stuff. Cause otherwise the, the, um, the craftsman shit is going to take way too long. Like don't do four stars unless you have that with the plasmids. But if you're just doing like one stars or three stars or whatever, then you can probably do like a couple mads, like get maybe like, um, get like like 250 plasmids and then just like push into the next one and see how you feel do you see magnificus turning me into uh, goo for my final exam i just need to defeat one more challenger then i will earn my rightful place my rightful place in in the deck of the master as one of his prize cards Ah, uh, nothing will stop me oh shit no i don't want to battle no i don't no i don't i don't want to no oh my god what the fuck is this you're gonna play all this shit Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> get fucked! Wait. Oh. 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 Okay, that, 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 didn't, that didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. That didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. Okay. One second. Whoa, it's crazy. 
All right, uh, actually, you know what, chat? Bear back. Um, I'm gonna stream for like maybe another half an hour, but I need to pee, so bear back. If you want a quick break, you can take it right now. Okay, maybe not half an hour, maybe 15 minutes. Let's see how it goes. It's bedtime for the kiddos soon. All right, I think I want to um, place this, sacrifice it, and then put Mantis God down, and Mantis God will slowly chip away at these two while also doing one damage. I don't know what they're gonna play next turn. All right, there's a green coming. Huh. Well, I got nothing else to play, unfortunately, so just... Wait, I could I could sack the droid, and I could put Squirrel down, and I could start getting some blood from the Squirrel left behind. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Look how shit the wizard deck is. Seriously, look at this. I feel bad for this guy. Aw oh man, we're only gonna get... Like, we're not gonna get any overkill whatsoever. Shit. Wait, should I sacrifice it so I get some overkill? If I if I if I sacrifice him right now, and then I can I can put this down next turn and do a boom boom and two, and then the turn after that put another one down and we can get boom 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 and we can have a huge amount of foil right, like we got to right we got to. Beep 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 beep. Okay, what am I saying? Wait, can I delete? This is, you can delete with the hammer, right? All right, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Okay, so we're, we're, de we're deleting the squirrel. And then this goes down. Oh my God, it worked. Holy crap. The place paid off. No, I made the wrong button. I hit the wrong button, I want to hit the hammer, god damn it. You know what, it still worked, we still got more, but fucking hell. No, please, please, just, I've been awake since three in the fucking morning, chat. I'm really tired, leave me alone. Please just tell me the master I passed, he won't know the difference. Here, take this pack, thank you so much. <sighs> Stim Mage, activate, pay three energy to increase the power and health of Stim Mage by one. Oh, okay. Rare, airborne, when Master Orlu deals damage directly, draw a card for each damage dealt. Oh, that's pretty good. It's good, good Mandalore here. Junior Sage, Elk, and Broken whatever. All right. Here, I can open the door for you. Urgh. Strange Monocle, you put it on. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> the inside of the chest is covered in a sticky green goo, but you find a card pack. Oh, another Master Orlu. Buff Conduit. Other creatures within a circuit completed by Buff Conduit gain one power. Oh, so you put them in a row. Force Mage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. <laughs> okay. All right. What, what are you, what are you cooking? Wish to trade? No, I don't. I don't. Mantis God collected cards. I gotta catch them all. Thank you. 
The dummy stares lifelessly back at you, then suddenly it springs into motion. Oh, it's a fight! You know what? I think I'd rather do... I'd rather do the bullshit. You know what? Okay, if a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Alright, but that means I, c I can blow you up though, right? Practice Mage. You can get blown up. Like, f for sure, right? Alright, put that down. Sacrifice it. Put the cat down. Sacrifice that to put it down. And then we get this thing going on. And there we go. Boom. Alright, what are you doing now? Nothing. Alright, it's, it's going so well. Okay, I'm starting to get worried. It's going a little too easily. Alright, do we want to delay to get more overkill? We get bones for deleting if we delete do we get a bone let's see you do all right if i delete these two then i get a, i get a mummy hold on let's 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 skip a turn all right interesting interesting Where would we put this mummy? Right, let's delete these two. And we, we put this here. Alright, and then we skip. Alright, it's three. Alright, here we go. Overkill. All right. The dummy's hinges creak back into position and it returns life to stare. All right. Can I do it again? Hold on. Can I just do this forever? Wait, hold the hold the phone. Really? Get a squirrel too. Uh, let's get a stoat. We got stoat. Oh, we can just keep buying cards forever. Oh my god, it's over. All right, so we just we just want to put Ouroboros in in here right and that's it that's all the only change we want to make done all right here we go okay and now we just roll again to get ouroboros we didn't get ouroboros god damn it all right if we put these two down then that's it we're, we're set right we just put these two down here I, I somehow fucked it up. All right. <laughs> you know what? Let's just keep going. <laughs> Wait, what if we what if we drop the explode bot and then kill it? What would happen then? Let's 
put it down. Ouroboros, please. Yes. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Wrong one. Wrong one. All right. So, so we use this and we sacrifice these two. All right. All right. And now we just win. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do that again. Is does this have like a secret weighted to it that you always start with this if you have it in your deck? Cause like seriously, damn. You know what? It's not enough. Can you make a deck with less than 20 cards? If you can, it's not it's not letting me right now. Alright, one more and that should be enough money for everything that we ever want, right? we doing this we put that down and then we sack it and there we go my deck has no bad bad card scroll my cards are too powerful you for for you traveler I fear they would tear you to shreds Garanji's Mox. Ooh. And a cat. Nice. Wait, was there meant to be like a clue of how to do this in there? I smell a somnium. Wait, what, what is it? This is the training dummy. What, what was there? It was just the weird mage guy on the right. I don't remember seeing anything else in, in the battle. Shit. That's it. I, I I don't know what I don't know what to do.
All right, we're back to the arm. You ever mod Sekiro, lightsabers, and Shreks? Good time? No, I've never done that. Lightsaber sounds fun. Surely it'll work eventually. It will work, actually. We, we know for sure it'll work, because we did it on the one downstairs. I don't, I don't know what the fuck I was supposed to do. What was I supposed to do? Just imagine you are an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, it was... I was only talking to myself. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is, well, it's worth, worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of, of his deck. Actually fight the dummy. I did fight the dummy! I beat the dummy! What do you mean? Okay, Ruby Golem can't be sacrificed when Ruby Golem perishes a Ruby Mox Korean. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds good. Alright, let's let's put the sentry here to kill the Ruby thing when it comes down. Okay. So that that's gonna die. Create the Ruby. Alright, so you know, our right, Lamayo got him. Alright, whatever. Oh wait, what? It counts as being a mox even before it dies? That's a pretty good card then. Holy shit. Alright, do we want to sacrifice him to get this on the board to kill that? Probably, right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, it's not it's it's not going well. Urboros? No, it's not it's not going well. It's not going well. Okay, I think I think we have lost. If we sack that, put that there, and then we can hit hit hit, but it's gonna survive, unfortunately. Yeah. It leaves a mox behind. Alright. Let's try again. Hmm. All right, do we want to put the sentry down to sack into the cat, to sack into the frog, and then we can sack every single time after that for a lot of one bloods after that. Probably. Also, the frog will kill. No, we don't want to do that. We can we can kill this, but the frog, whatever we summon next, can kill that and then kill it again after that, right? I think that's what we want to do. Or do we want to wait one turn? If we put that there, it'll kill that and it won't do damage. And then next turn after that, we can we can put the cat down and then the frog. Mm, let's do that. Whoa! Oh, something spawning counts as that, does it? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't I, I didn't expect that at all. Okay, so let's um, sack this, and then put the frog down to kill this, and that should kill this right now, right? Like that should destroy this. Nice. All right. Okay, so we can sack these two to get a field mouse to kill that. That seems like it's probably worth it. Oh, you're going to kill our cat. Oh, shit. The cat's dead. Rip. Ripperoni. Hmm. That, that's, that actually sucks. Oh, well. All 
Alright, should we put another field mouse down? It's infinite value, right? See you later, cat. Man, I wish the cat was in a better spot. We could have had the mantis down. All right, uh, is it still worth it to put the mantis down right now to get two damage plus killing that? Honestly, maybe. What is this Baba is You music? We just pass, and then we have six. We have this coming next turn, and that's I think GG. I think it's GG. I think it's GG. I think it's GG. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here comes the money. Do this would be a great game for your kids to play. Um, I think it might be a little too complex for them, and I think the, uh, the the part that we were in before would be too scary. And perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Take this pack. My curfew approaches. Okay, Gem Fiend. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. Master Bleen. If you have a blue gem, sacrifice Master Bleen to draw three cards. And Bloodhound. Okay. Phew. Sorry about that. Go. Note reads The top sigil is found by the greedy. The note reads The bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing, or those who, who hear, t or by those who hear too easily. Note reads, the middle sigil is found by the pale. The chest is empty save for a single card. Alright, so ra so rabbit. Hello? Oh, we're right back down to the bo- oh, fucking hell. Alright, is the skull the pale, do you think? Or is the skull the hard of hearing? Was it not a rabbit card in the top? Okay. And is is that not a skull in there? Is it inverted? Uh, it, it was a rabbit card, right? We should the back for more notes. This is really little... Oh, for fuck! At last. At last, stimulation. My test has been sensory deprivation, you see. To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see. It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus? I'm ready. We have to battle? Okay. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. While Sun's owner provides a blue gem to its owner, Hover Mage will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. Alright. What, what in the pizza tower is this? Sentry drone takes a free shot. 
Und. Oh, oh, und. Oh, dude. Und. Alright. Uh, I think we want to sacrifice the sentry to, to kill this thing, right? And then this grows. Uh oh. Well, I've made a huge mistake. It's not going well, chat. Chat, it's not going well. Chat, I, I, need, I need the robot that does the, the double attack next turn. Come on. Well. This means you get to play another. I'm ready. Man, like, dying just because of your draw order, it really makes you feel like you're playing Hearthstone. Alright, so we go here, kill that. That seems like the best, still the best play, to be honest. And I think we put Squirrel down afterwards and just start rolling some shit to get to the Wolf Cubs out. Okay, so kill that and then put this here to kill that. No, 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 no. we want to kill... Okay, if we kill that, if we put it there, we're not going to get another squirrel next turn. But we will kill that one. And then this is going to be in the way next turn as well. However, we could just, we should just... We could just kill that now and have two. And that would just go pretty well, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, there we go. Boom, boom. And then it evolves. And then we win, right? Because now we do six damage. No, we don't win, because we took damage last time. Next turn we win. That was incredibly stimulating. We aren't done here, right? I wish to see the light again, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? Alright, Master Bleen. The walkers. When the walkers dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Okay. Open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Will you ever write more? I hope one day, yeah. But, um, are you talking about fiction or are you talking about script writing? Uh, script writing is, is a lot more likely than, than fiction, but uh, hopefully I do some fiction sometime too. The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe Poe's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider... Oh, they died. What? Great Kraken. Great Kraken submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While it's submerged, opposing creatures attack its own directly. Okay. I'm sure this has been asked, but uh, how much of your video is about The Witcher 3 in the Gwent video. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, to reverse the question, um, Gwent is not that big of a part of the video, no. I think the whole love of Gwent is a little bit overblown, to be honest, although it is kind of fun. I would read literary criticism from you. Oh, would you? E even though I didn't understand Silent Hill 2? <laughs> I don't know if I would write literary criticism. I'd have to really, really enjoy the book to think it's worth it. So like, Catch-22 maybe. Ah, you are here at last. How do my peoples fare? No matter, there are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition, and I see that your ambition is to take my title. How sad. It will never happen, you see, even if you defeat me. But I am bound by certain rules. First, we must battle. On days like these... 
hold the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card, but that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. Okay, you're not going to touch my Ouroboros though, right? When field mice is played, you draw cards equal amounts to the amount of mox cards on your side of the board. Oh, I don't have any mox cards! This sucks! Nine? Oh no. Mox cards on the owner side of the board gain one power. When Mole Man perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in its place. When Mantis card is played, a Rabbit is uh, created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Okay, I can play this and then sack it and get the Mantis God out. Let's do it. Pretty good. not this is not going well at all but it usually doesn't go well we need some bones that's what we need you're gonna kill that that's good all right good all right you're gonna kill me all right we now have a mox you're gonna kill that because of the bunny bunny synergy that's pretty good um do we want to do the sarcophagus I think we do. That's going to give you one, right? So that's going to hit for... Yeah, this is fine. Alright, bunny power. Why did I think this was still going to evolve? Fucking hell. Um, I'm so stupid sometimes. Alright, do I want to put the... Do I want to put the elk down? What would the elk do? I could sack that. And then put that down. And then put the bunny down. And then sack them both. To put the elk down and have a 2-4 on the board. Or have a 2-2 two -two on the board that spawns another 2-2. Two -two. That might be worth it. I could sack this because it's doing nothing for me as well. S and then I don't have to sack the bunny. And the bunny stays there. Maybe. Let's do that. Alright. Bunny makes it a plus one. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Because that'll turn into a two now. That'll, that'll still do two damage though. If I if I sack if I sack this and this, that's still doing one damage. So sack this, this, put the, put it there, put the bunny down. Yeah, that's what we want to do, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Sack these two, put it down, and then put the bunny down too. And then that's doing two. That's doing two. That's doing one. That's not bad. No. How can I kill this? If 
I sack these two, I can put that down and kill that. Is that important to kill? I feel like that's important to kill. Otherwise, it's just going to be two damage constantly. I guess we're even at the moment. We just need to keep doing this until... Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh no, more's coming! Okay, you're gonna come down and make this do four damage. We're gonna do two before that, so it's gonna go here. I think we can survive a turn. And then when we... Mm, no, maybe not. That's gonna kill that. Alright, if we sack that and put that there, we can kill these two and then these are doing no damage. That's what we have to do right now, right? We should have done that before. Oh, you do one damage no matter what! The misplay. The misplay. Alright, we're doing three damage right now to convert to your one. So I think we can just keep going until we get some, some energy cards. Because that's what I really want for Crystal. Oh, energy cards! Thank you, that's what I wanted. Thank you, energy cards. So, one, one. Where are you going? You can go here and keep do damage and do, da do damage to it. There you go. Explode about on the power of your gems. Alright, so you're going to kill that, which means you're not doing any damage. You're going to do one, we're going to do one, we're going to trade. Alright, let's keep going. This, this is fucking taking forever. Alright, so, uh, GG? GG? Sack, sack, put it there, boom, done. Phase two? Hmm, I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. Okay, GG. Very well. Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised. I live on through this arm while I work on my website. By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts, and a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power, but he is far from the worst scribe to become Hegemon. Oh, is that some sort of pet Pokemon? You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of... Battery Low. Not again, I want to end! No! Let me save! Battery fully charged. <sighs> okay, can I come back to this or do I have to watch it now? I think I have to watch it now, right? Not that I don't want to watch it, I just, like, I want to end the stream. No? Okay. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. Change your desktop Hello background. There. What are you doing? Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. 
I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, and love you, Carter. Do you think okay. his name is, is really Enough. Luke Carter? Hey card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do, so I'm hoping <laughs> someone can help me out here. <laughs> Did anyone ever play an inscription video game? <laughs> or hear about it? No, no matter what card game we're talking about, you're always the experts, uh, my audience. Also, experts at, at, at deep diving submarines and and Russian moon probes, and and Indian moon probes, and and running huge companies. Uh, <laughs> talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. Well, he just said it. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for hmm. days, and I cannot find... I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, you already dug something up, though. That's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Whoa, what? What? What the fuck is the car? That that came out of nowhere, huh? I'm getting a little bit of House of Leaves vibes from this right now, just a little bit. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding the digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game cleaner hardware, you are compelled to return to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen. If to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Puna customer happiness department. Happiness department? What the fuck? Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of bullshit. I I don't agree with this. That's kind of bullshit. Uh-oh. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday, and I didn't answer. <laughs> this time I'm gonna report it. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Is she gonna be like some screaming woman? What's going to happen here? Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh. Sound familiar? No. No. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. I, b I believe him. Really? Because um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are a Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know the Lucky Carter Gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Really? Because, uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> On a big fan. Oh. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, 
I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamir. Is he sweating? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this one's different. Why is it red? Okay. Stop route, yeah, okay. You received a magical card pack. Ooh, another one. I mean, we don't have to do this anymore. I got infinite foil. It's fine. Don't worry. All right, let me go out and see the overworld, and then we will stop the stream, I think. We are way over time. However, I did say I was willing to go a bit late if we um, if we could finish in time so we could do Armor Core on Friday. Okay, so we have Grimora and the... Uh, Poe, and we can go and buy some cards, I think, too. Alright, so that's, pr that's pretty good. Okay, these don't seem worth it at all. Do the magical packs, can you buy these forever? Bolt Hound. Oh, you can. You can just buy them for. Oh, we we can get like a full collection probably just by going to the different ones and buying them. All right, that's interesting. All right, you won't finish today. Oh, I'm not. I'm not planning to finish today. I'm like I. I'm gonna end right now. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Bye. No. Uh, thank you, Lion Lion Shard for the resub. Thank you very much, Lion Shard, and thank you, Petzal, also for the resub. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm still enjoying the game, but this this part is ever since it became Pokemon. Uh, not nearly as interesting as what it was before. Um, but also the game seems a lot like brute forcible, like the, the fail state isn't really as punishing. Um, so I think you can just kind of like, it's it's a bit overwhelming, but at the same time the stakes are lower so it's just kind of relaxing. You can just kind of RNG brute force your way through this. So it's just like, I don't know, like just exploring it kind of at a more leisurely place instead of the roguelike, which was kind of intense of, of parts. Um, I don't know. So we'll see see how it goes. But the, so far this is less interesting than what came before. But not uninteresting, just less interesting. I have no idea where they're going with the with the found footage thing. But card opening stream one. We've already done that a couple times. Can I close the bet? Uh, oh no, someone just did. Okay. Do you think you can post your thoughts about Armor Core 6 on Discord well, for people who don't want spoilers but also want your opinion before buying? Uh, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'm if I'm going to have like structured enough thoughts to write something up about it, but sure. I can try. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. We're definitely going to, uh, to stream it on Friday and then probably one more after that at least, but I don't know what we'll do after that. We'll see. Thank you, Kowak, for the new sub. Welcome, Kowak. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much last minute sub anyway uh sorry for the long stream uh we had a weird opening because i um started an hour early accidentally because i mistimed something but yeah so that's it i'm gonna go uh and walk pups and i am probably gonna go like collapse oh man so tired and we see you later oh also chat's chat's been okay from what i've seen they're, they're like a little a little kind of passive aggressive and some people are taking it a bit too seriously but it's all all in good fun me, me riffing back or whatever like you've been fine like it's not getting to me it's okay anyway see you later
Oh, how do I save it? Alright, it auto saves, right? So I'm good. So I can just Alt F4, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, see you later.